Leak Academy basketball coming at you. It is Friday, January 26th, and you're catching the Rebels in girls and boys varsity action from the Joe F. Shepard Gym in Madden as we make up a game that was rescheduled because of last week's severe weather. And uh, we've got uh, we've got this uh, important game against East Rankin coming up uh, in the girls' matchup. And, of course, the boys will be playing the Patriots as well. Glad to have you with us here on Friday evening. There's a lot of extra energy in the gym. We're expecting things to get pretty full and uh, things to be kind of raucous because this is a rematch that uh, the – the Lady Rebels are going to remember December 15, and they remember a loss at Pelahatchee. We'll talk about that in a moment. So they want to avenge that loss, and even more than that, uh, they've got the possibility of finishing with the one seed in the district for next week's tournament, and that's an even bigger prize. So we'll talk about all that here during the, Bab the excuse me, the Moore's Pharmacy pregame. John Alden Crosby's with me here, out running the action camera. Billy Steen at Moswell Media Sports Studios, and I'm Philip Palmer Tree. Thanks for joining us. You can catch us tonight on Cruising 98.3 FM. Hello to everybody uh, listening to us on the radio, and then everybody joining in on the live stream at the Boswell Media Sports YouTube channel. So we've got uh, something, uh, something big going on tonight, final game of the regular season. Last night the Rebels played here on senior night, took on – uh, Grace Christian School, and got uh, got the job done, took care of that in non-district play. In fact, flip over here and give you the scores from last night and uh, senior night. 66-40 the win for the girls, and 69-29 the win for the boys. Taking care of business against uh, friends from Louisville. Seniors were honored last night, uh, senior cheerleaders, and Senior basketball players on the boys' side, Jake Freeney, Lucas Thomas, Ben Jackson, the girls' squad, uh, Abigail Graham and uh, Allison Thompson, and also uh, Ella Bell, Katie Jones, and Olivia Rudolph all being uh, recognized last night because uh, that was going to be the last game before district tournament starts next week in uh, Mendenhall, so and we'll bring you those games and we'll know uh, what the seeds are based on tonight's outcome. So you've got three really good girls teams in this uh, District 2. You've got these two ball clubs here, East Rankin and our Rebels, and of course also Simpson. Hey, speaking of Simpson, did you enjoy that game the other night? <laughs> I hope you did. And if you didn't catch it, you can go back and watch an archive of that broadcast and see that tremendous comeback in the 61-57 double overtime win for Coach Amanda Hatch's Rebels. Katie Jones, a 22.9 rebound night, but she, uh, hit, more importantly, hit the tying shot in the lane as time expired in regulation. And then Simpson answered with their excellent uh, forward, Peyton Purvis, hitting a difficult shot, leaning over to her left from 12 feet out at the buzzer in the first overtime, and then the Rebels took control in OT number two. It was a great game for Olivia Rudolph as well. She had 17 to go with uh, 11 rebounds, double-double for her, and she really turned it up during that fourth quarter comeback when the Rebels erased a 10-point deficit in the final three minutes or so of that game. They outscored Simpson 17-5 to in the fourth quarter and uh, trailed by 10, as I mentioned, with just under three minutes to play. But uh, came back, drove it to overtime, and I think that's a, a – any time you beat Simpson, you've done something, and to win like that in their gym is something that's got to boost the confidence of this ball club. Of course, the last time these teams met, it was a 68-62 East Rankin win on December 15 in Pelahatchee against Lee. The Rebels committed 22 turnovers that night, did not have Katie Jones available. Anna Morgan Young shouldered the offensive load, hit – uh, seven out of ten three-pointers finished with 25 points. But uh, the turnovers were a big part of that game. So they're going to look to get even against Coach Brooke Rhodes' excellent East Rankin squad coming in at 29-5 and five and 8-1 and one in the district. We've got the Baptist Medical League starting lineups ahead. But first, 
You're going to need to hear some ads. So here they come. We'll be back with the starting lineups as Leak Academy basketball continues. Baptist League Rural Health Clinics have a variety of health care options with primary care, pediatrics, and women's health. Providing care at three locations in Carthage, Walnut Grove, and Madden. Call 601-267-1470 today to schedule your appointment. Extended hours and Saturdays are available at our primary care clinic located in Carthage. Baptist League, making your health care our number one priority. You can't get much for five bucks these days. Unless you go to Wendy's for a $5 biggie bag. Get your choice of double stack, junior bacon cheeseburger, or crispy chicken sandwich. Plus four-piece nugs, junior fry, and a small soft drink. All for just five bucks. You got that bag. You got that biggie bag. You got that bag. That was smooth, wasn't it? That's how you're going to feel when you get that biggie bag at Wendy's. You got that bag. You got that bag. U.S. price and participation may vary. Experience the South Group Cox Agency difference. We work with clients of established businesses, startups, young and established families, retirees, and high net worth individuals. South Group Cox has a statewide presence, local knowledge, and superior expertise. We are committed to be your hometown and long-term trusted advisor and have access to insurance and risk management solutions while at the same time offering you coverage options at an affordable rate. South Group Cox Agency open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., 207 West Main Street, Carthage. Boswell Media Sports. <laughs> District 2, 5A basketball. Here are tonight's Baptist Medical League starting lineups. First for the East Rankin Lady Patriots, 8-1 in the district, 29-5 overall. They're in visiting red with white numbers. They'll start sophomore Holly Jackson. Junior Presley Thompson, who had 17 points in the game against the Rebels in December. Liz Stevens in the post. She had 11 points and really protected the rim. Addison Derrick, sophomore. And then senior Addison Brown, who had 21 to lead all scores for East Rankin in that game. Jackson, Thompson, Stevens, Derek Brown for East Rankin under Coach Brooke Rhodes. Now the Baptist Medical League starting lineups for the Rebels, 25 and four in the year, seven and two in district play. Talk about, uh, well, we'll just go ahead and say they need to win this game by seven points to uh, get themselves into the one seed for next week's tournament. So a close win might not be enough. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Here's Ella Bell, senior at 5'3", averaging three points, two rebounds. Anna Morgan Young, 5'5", junior, averaging seven and a half points. And Caroline Cheatham, the junior at 5'4", three and a half points, two rebounds. Olivia Rudolph, the senior at 5'7". Six points, four rebounds, two steals. And Katie Jones in the post, 5'11", senior, averaging third and nearly seven rebounds. Rudolph, Young, Cheatham, Bell, Jones for Leak and home white. All right, I'll read to you what Coach Amanda Hatch sent me a, a day or two ago when I asked the question about what, what does tonight's game mean in terms of um, – in terms of the, the postseason. I can find it, here it is. All right, if we beat them by less than six, we're the two seed. If we lose, we're the three seed. You don't want that. If you win by seven or more, we're number one seed. If we win by six, we think we have the next tie break on them, so we would be one. So you just about have to be a math teacher like Coach Amanda Hatch to Keep up with all that, but we'll size it up when we get to the end. Here we go for the South Group Cox tip off. Jones and Stevens, both uh, pushing six feet a piece in the jump circle. Three man officiating crew ready. Everybody's ready. Here's the tip. It's spun out control by Olivia Rudolph. She drives straight up. 
hesitates and scores with two hands from the right side. Quick two for Leak to take the early lead. Here's the backcourt pressure. Presley Thompson, left side, guarded by Caroline Cheatham. She'll go at free throw line extended right. Luke pass down to Liz Stevens. And she shows a nice soft touch and scores right in the basket. 2-2 game. Here's an open look. Transition three. Way off the mark from Anna Morgan Young. Rebounded offside by East Rankins. Addison Brown. Three from Holly Jackson. It's way too deep. Too much adrenaline on that one, but an offensive board by Derrick. Out to Thompson for a three that's off the mark. Rebound. Olivia Rudolph for L.A. 2-2 and a lot of action in the opening 55 seconds. Pass over the head of Katie Jones in the lane. Looks like some of these shots and passes uh, seeing maybe just a little too much adrenaline. Certainly East Rankin knows the significance of this game. You no, know the Rebels do. 2-2, Patriot ball. Right wing, pass to the free throw line. Derrick's free throw line jumper no good. Going high for the rebound is Katie Jones and she'll Dribble it across the L.A. logo. Head down the left lane line, lose the ball. Steal taken by Holly Jackson. She's got Cheatham in front of her, and she intercepts. Cheatham intercepts the bounce pass. Good anticipation. Head to Ella Bell. Loop down in the blocks. Right side, Jones going up. Her shot re rejected by Liz Stevens out of bounds. First quarter of tonight's game presented by Carthage Vet Clinic. Olivia Rudolph on the inbound pass, dribbles in front of the three-point line, gives it to Young. She pounds it right hand, comes, uses up the dribble behind the arc. Looking for an open teammate, finds Katie Jones about three feet away. Jones closely guarded, goes to Rudolph. She fakes, drives, she's got the lane all by herself. She gets fouled and there's no call. Unbelievable. East Rankin. Throws it into the student section from midcourt. Presley Thompson, too much on that one. Boy, how do you miss that foul? Sometimes there's ball and hand. That was hand and arm. Six minutes to go. We're still at 2-2. Cheatham between the rings. The left elbow to Jones. She holds the ball up over her head. Now she'll put it on a dribble, kick out to Ella Bell. She'll fire for three, ball rattles out. Rebound tipped over to Presley Thompson. Nearly double dribbles. Across the midcourt line, she comes and there's a steal from Anna Morgan Young. Bodies to the deck at the free throw line. Katie Jones retrieves it, sends it to Olivia Rudolph and she's going to push the accelerator into the front court. Now she'll back it out, give it to Cheatham. 521, ticking clock. Right corner, Rudolph. A lot of contact down in the low post. We go left. Young takes it, loops it down, 12 feet away. Scoop underneath, missed by Jones, too short. And Addison Derrick able to reel in the rebound. They've got good height down there with Derrick and Stevens, both good defensive players. Offensive foul on Presley Thompson. She tried to go to the rim but then lowered her shoulder on Katie Jones. Thompson's first, team's first, 4.51 clock ticking. Had two quick baskets and now it's been just uh, turnovers and rebounds. Livia Rudolph open on the right side. She's gonna drive baseline, go in amongst the trees, put it up high, off the mark. Jones tips the rebound away from Stevens, but it's out of bounds into the padding. Rebels pressure in the backcourt against the dribblers. Holly Jackson guarded by Young. She'll yo-yo it, get back behind the three-point line. Skip it left side to Brown. Brown to Thompson. Thompson holds it under her arm for a moment. Now she's going to put it into play. Kick out. Here's a Brown three off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound offside by Katie Jones. Left wing Rudolph to Bell. Gets it back. Putting Katie Jones up in the high post. Now bringing her down low on the right side as Anna Morgan Young drives, gets past the defender, and is able to score. The bigs were not in the picture. 
And it's 4-2, Rebels. And Anna Morgan Young's going to get called for a blocking foul. She was trying to set up for the charge as Holly Jackson was going in hard. That one could have gone either way. As it is, Young's first personal. Three fifty-two to go. Brown checks out of the game. They'll bring in Ansley Miller, East Rankin. Patriots inbound it, left of the basket on the end line. Les Stevens calls for it in the lane, goes up too strong off the window. Katie Jones and Olivia Rudolph had their hands on the ball, so here come the Rebels, leading 4-2. Outside to Bell, she'll dribble twice, skip it right side for an Anna Morgan Young three. That's good, junction three for Anna Morgan Young. Rebel three-pointers presented by Prince Oil. Coming down the other way, Thompson flings it up, misses, but there to clean it up and put it back from the right side is Stevens for two. 7-4 leak. Screen for Anna Morgan Young, her three comes just off the heel. She gets her own rebound. She's going up on Stevens. No foul call there. It sure looked like a lot of arm on arm contact. Sarah Prince comes into the game for Ella Bell. Also, Jenna Allen coming to the scores table. Bransley Thompson out of the game. Bring Brown back in, 7-4. Holly Jackson on the dribble guarded by Sarah Prince, deep wide left. Comes to the middle of the floor on a left-hand dribble. They clear out for her left side. Bring out Miller. Going the post to Stevens and she's held by Katie Jones going up toward the basket. First foul on Katie, free throws for Liz Stevens. Jones tried to be subtle with kind of holding her hips down. Stevens gets it to bounce all around and go in. Makes the Rebels lead now two points. Second one good. Half a dozen, all the points scored by Liz Stevens. It's 7-6, 251 to go in the Carthage Vet Clinic first quarter. Cheatham guarded closely out front by Jackson, goes mid-range right to Rudolph. Her pass into the post. Deflected over the baseline. Leak will keep it. It's Allen, Jones, Rudolph, Prince, and Cheatham on the floor right now for Leak. Pass on the baseline. Rudolph fakes the three. Drives. Twist around a twist around an opponent, and then they get a phantom foul on Jones. That's her second. That'll send Marley Myers into the game. She was not in position for the rebound, but was trying to reach over the top. Not much, if any, on the foul there. 7-6. East Rankin trying to take the lead, going in the lane to Derrick, but quick hands. Jenna Allen tips it, and then off the hands of Derrick and out of bounds. Cheatham walks it up. East Rankin playing man in the half-court defense. Leak with a one-point lead. Here's Rudolph looking at the basket. Going to drive, get past the defender, lay it up, but it goes off the back of the rim. No good. Stevens in position for the rebound for the Patriots. Here they come. Transition opportunity. Deep, deep three. Good by Addison Brown. And first, and there's a lead for East Rank at 9-7. Jenna Allen, she wants to drive baseline on Stevens. Goes and eases it over the front lip of the rim. 9-9 game. Jackson angling right, now back left. Coach Brooke Rhodes wants timeout with 136 to go in the first. There'll be a 30. We'll take it with them. And League Academy basketball continues. Woodstock Furniture in Philadelphia says, let's go Rebels. My coach Hatch and Morgan, Woodstock Furniture has a game plan to score big time savings for our Rebel faithful all season long. Family owned and operated, Woodstock Furniture at 70 Canal Place in Philadelphia behind McAllister's has a winning tradition with their low price guarantee on furniture for every room in the house. Plus, if you buy it today, you get it today. 
Quick stock furniture at 70 Canal Place in Philadelphia. Loves the Rebels like the Rebel love to win. Love to win. Boswell Media Sports. <laughs> East Rankin ball, minute 36 to play in the first quarter, 9-9. Ball loose on the floor, going to go off. Presley Thompson, she and Rudolph both went to the deck. No one else will get it. Got to break the tie and retake the lead. Cheatham passes to Allen right side. She'll left-hand dribble, use a Meyer screen, put up a high three that comes... High and far off the rim, but rebound Liz Stevens. Which is a great rebounding presence for East Rankin. Crossover move. Presley Thompson can't get past Allen. Moves back behind the three-point line after probing two, three times. To Miller in the post. Double team. Stevens shot partially blocked by Marley Myers of Leak. Rudolph with another rebound. She gets it to Cheatham. 50 seconds to play in the Carthage Vet Clinic first quarter. Pass tossed into the corner, and the officials trying to decide who touched it last. They're going to say Leak touched it last. Decisive call there from either official. Steal the inbound. Cheatham to Rudolph. Able to score it from the right side. Second bucket for Olivia. It's Leak 11, East Rank and 9. Steal by Cheatham in the backcourt. She steps back for three off the right side. Offensive rebound, Rudolph, and there's a foul underneath. Olivia's going to the free throw line. Second foul on Presley Thompson. Team second. Olivia Rudolph to the line where she has struggled this year, but she time with some free East Rankin brings Hannah Jackson into the game. To replace Thompson. Second free throw by Rudolph is good. Shot from the corner. Hannah Jackson misses the three. Rebound in the lane by Myers. Gets it quickly to Rudolph. 20 seconds ticking. Holly Jackson able to deflect the pass intended for Sarah Prince into the Patriot bench. Leak will inbound it with 17 seconds to go in the quarter. Leak 12, East Rankin 9. The baseline to Jen Allen, quickly to Myers, back to the basket. Working on Stevens, goes up, her shot blocked. But taken on the opposite side by Caroline Cheatham, 8 seconds to go. Cheatham between the circles, 5 seconds, 4, 3, 2. And the Rebels are able to get the shot off Marley Myers well short. I think Leak lost some clock awareness there, but they lead it 12-9 after one quarter. We'll return in 60 seconds. As Leak Academy basketball continues. Winter in central Mississippi may feel a bit different than other regions. It could feel like winter in the morning and summer by the afternoon. To keep your home comfortable, which may mean adjusting your thermostat by a few degrees, Central Electric recommends setting your thermostat at 68 degrees and changing your HVAC filters once a month. Make sure to seal your doors and windows if air is escaping or coming in. Central Electric, serving you since 1937. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer. What's the three most important words in sports? We got game. And in sports, located in Philadelphia, can take yours to another level. Whether it's custom printing for your home team or our local high schools, you can always count on in sports when it comes to having what you need when you need to look your best. From apparel to accessories, let in sports at 431 Beacon Street in Philadelphia prove to you what it means when they say, We got game. In sports, proud supporter of the Leak Academy Rebels. Boswell Media Sports. Tonight's second quarter is presented by Central Electric Power Association. You just heard from them in the break. Rudolph, Allen, Prince, Young, and Katie Jones back into the game. Jones carrying two fouls. 12-9 Rebels. East Rankin basketball. The Patriots in red. Loop it down in the post to Stevens. She can't score it from point blank range, and Katie Jones cleans the glass. Dribbles front court into the corner to Young. She's going to come inside the three-point line. Now go reverse it left to Allen in the corner to Prince. Back to Rudolph. And Morgan Young comes out, catches it between the circles. 
Working around in the corner again. Rudolph looking inside. Jones trying to post up on Stevens. Quick step into the passing lane results in a turnover. But double dribble there by Jackson. Holly Jackson, that is. She and Hannah Jackson were involved in that steal, but then the turnover gets it back to Leak. Sarah Prince uses a Rudolph screen. Trying to do a pick and roll there, but instead move it to the corner. Young down to Jones in position, working on Stevens. She goes up, shot affected, partially blocked and taken away by Holly Jackson, a sophomore. Going into the lane, stepping through, can't get it to go with a left hand, and there's another Katie Jones rebound. She'll let everybody go on pass, but finds Jenna Allen in the lane underneath for an easy two. Rebels 14, East Rankin 9. Right wing, Miller. She gives it to Addison Brown. She'll skip it left side and the pass into the post. Intercepted by Jones for Leak. Here's a three from Anna Morgan Young. That's straight through junction three, second of the night for Anna Morgan Young. It's 17-9. Prince going to be called for a foul in the backcourt. Presley Thompson into the game, replacing Hannah Jackson. 6-11 to go, League 17, East ranking 9 in the girls' game. Inbound to Thompson. She's going to probe, now get back out on the right wing, get it down to Stevens. She's double teamed. Good block by Jenna Allen, she, but she commits the foul on the putback, and Stevens scores it will get to the line. Two for Liz Stevens. Count the basket, 17-11. Here's the free throw. Missed it. Rebound, Rudolph. She has Holly Jackson in her face, but comes up quickly for a Jenna Allen three left side. It's good. Oh, Jenna Allen, if she gets hot, look out, and they throw it away, trying to get a transition bucket at the other end over the head of Stevens. It's Rebels 20, East ranking 11, 547 to go in the Central Electric Power Association second quarter. There is some electricity in this gym. Deep wide left, Prince on the dribble. Rebels have three players point line. Here's Rudolph, she's leveled off the top of the key. Goes to Jenna Allen, right wing, off of Jones screen. Her pass to the left side, intercepted by Miller. Throws it to Holly Jackson in the front court. Now back to Miller, she'll aim, fire along two and score it. 2013. Left side, Allen pumping hard into Jackson. There's Jones, 12 feet from the basket. She's going to drive on Stevens, come underneath, reverse it, and put it in. Nice soft touch by the senior. That's an experienced player with a move, and that's Katie's first points of the evening. Lead is nine for L.A. Here's Miller for three, left side, good. Looks like Ansley Miller, the sophomore, not afraid to pull the trigger. She's come off the bench to score 5-16. 4.37 to go on a ticking clock. Second quarter, here's Anna Morgan Young on the drive. Shot blocked by Stevens. She rips it away, but held ball as Katie Jones was there. She turned around. Leak will take it on the alternating possession. Caroline Cheatham checking in for Jenna Allen. Four and a half to go in the second. Cheatham inbounds it, left of the basket on the baseline, and there's a five-second call. Turnover. Lady Patriot basketball. Thompson in the front court, crosses over. Prince stays in front of her between her and the basket. And then palm in the ball is what happened, but it ends up being called a foul on Leakes. Sarah Prince. Coach Amanda Hatch pleading that case now, but it's 
Patriot basketball, Rebels third foul of the period. East Rankin has not been whistled for a foul in this period. Holly Jackson guarded by Anna Morgan Young, three-point line. She's going to dribble, drive, put it up, but it goes opposite side of the glass into the hands of Katie Jones. Here's Cheatham. Kick out, three. Prince gets in the three-point game. The Rebels have put three threes on the board this quarter. Junction three makes it 25-16. Here's an answer. Holly Jackson can't get it to go. It came high off the rim and hit the pulleys and wiring up above the top that suspends the, spins it, and that's team rebound for Leak. 25-16, the Rebels have their largest lead, nine points. Olivia Rudolph goes to Cheatham. Defender falls down but gets back up to Katie Jones. She goes in the paint, kick out Prince, fakes a defender, goes outside the arc to Cheatham. Now in the corner to Rudolph. She'll work to the elbow left side. Go to Anna Morgan Young, who steps between defenders. And I think there's going to be a hold called underneath. Looks like the third foul going on Presley Thompson, if I understood the officials' hand signals. Yes. She's the only East Rankin player who's been whistled for a foul. Needless to say, she comes out of the game with 322 to go. Inbound to Rudolph. She'll put up a tough shot looking for some contact. Didn't get the call. Holly Jackson rebound on the baseline. Head to Miller. Leaning in on Prince. Prince was not set. Prince will pick up the foul, her third. Marley Myers comes in, give Olivia Rudolph a rest. So both Myers and Jones are in the game, and also Ella Bell will come in for Prince. Lady Rebels 25, East Rankin 16. 313 to go in the second. Inbound in the lane, Stevens. She puts it up and through off the glass. So tall, long arm, she's able just to take it above everybody's reach. Put it up at the basket. 25-18, we go under three minutes to play. Anna Morgan Young for three, going to drift off to the left, but Ella Bell gets the rebound, backs out in the left corner, goes to Cheatham in the lane, position for Marley Myers who scores. Nice cut to the basket. Marley Myers with her first two, 27-18. It's matched their largest lead, nine points. Brown up at the top to Holly Jackson, guarded by Anna Morgan Young. Got twin screeners up high. And they move it to the left side. Nothing there for Addison Brown. Right side, Miller tries to bounce it down, but it goes off the hands of Derrick into the corner. Leak basketball in the turnover. Caroline Cheatham receives the inbound pass. She leaves Ansley Miller behind. Goes to Anna Morgan Young, catch and release three. Slides off the rim, but there with the putback left side is Marley Myers. 11-point lead now for L.A. Two minutes to go before half. East Rankin working it around the arc. Jackson thinking about the three with Bell in front of her. Dribbles once. Now trying to find a teammate. Finds a nice cut to the basket, but Brown can't finish. Neither can Derek off the rebound, and now there's a scramble on the floor for the basketball. Held ball is the call. It should belong to the Patriots. Minute 41 to go before we get to Wendy's halftime. Coach Jason Morgan should be joining us. Conversation about the boys team. Junior high tournament starts tomorrow at East Rankin. The girls are playing at 10. Inbound comes to Holly Jackson. Super deep three, no good. But offensive rebound then held. No, nope, they're going to call Marley Myers for a hold. And she and Derek are tangled up. Extra pushing going on there. First foul on Marley Myers, team's fifth. We'll put Derek at the free throw line. The officials, two officials, all three officials coming to talk about it. 95 seconds to go in the quarter. Derek makes the first free throw. She measures, spins it, and scores it. 
Leak 29, East Rankin 20. Here's Cheatham on the dead run into the front court. Now she falls down. Ball right into the hands of Derrick. She gives it up to Jackson. To Brown, who thinks about the three. Drives and they'll get a foul on, a shooting foul somehow on, on Ella Bell. And how that's a shooting foul outside of the NBA is it, your, your guess is better than mine. Well, she'll shoot two. She's not a shooting foul. Sorry, they're in the bonus. My mistake. Here's Brown off the mark on the first free throw. She's got three points, made a three in the first quarter. The senior makes the second one, 29-21. Ella Bell left sideline to the middle of the floor to Katie Jones. Coach Amanda Hatch sending some signals in. They Got Anna Morgan Young on a handoff around the Jones screen. She's going to go into the paint, dribble it off her foot. Now it's anybody's ball. Anna Morgan Young out of there with it. Bell to Myers. Great assist from Bell. Now to Marley Myers for the putback from point blank range. Half a dozen for Marley. It's 31 21. Jackson dribbling around. 50 seconds to go in the second. Audrey Brown in the game, excuse me, uh, Miller in the game, getting it to Brown, pass into the post, knocked away but retrieved by Holly Jackson. Her runner misses from eight feet away. Rebels have it with 30 seconds. Catch, three, airballed by Young, but rebound by Jones offside, and she's going strong to the rim. She faked left, went right, and used the glass to her advantage for two, 33-21. Largest lead, now a dozen, 11 seconds in the half. Here's Jackson, she'll rear up, hoist a three, and send it down. Her first points of the night, and that will end the half. 33 for Leak, 24 for East Rankin at the midway point. We'll get the Wendy's halftime going after you listen to some more ads here on Possible Media Sports. Experience the South Group Cox Agency difference. We work with clients of established businesses, startups, young and established families, retirees, and high net worth individuals. South Group Cox has a statewide presence, local knowledge, and superior expertise. We are committed to be your hometown and long-term trusted advisor and have access to insurance and risk management solutions while at the same time offering you coverage options at an affordable rate. South Group Cox Agency open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., 207 West Main Street, Carthage. When it comes to being champions of the hardwood, nobody knows what it takes to dominate the way the Rebels and Welch Forest product does. Welch Forest products in Union can clear timber from your property with the least amount of possible damage. Whether it's management, forestry care, pine plantation thinning, or cider prep, call Paul Welch now at 601-774-8200. Anyone who thinks they're better than Welch Forest products or Leak Academy Rebel basketball? Oops, I hit the button too fast. <laughs> it's that kind of night, a lot of excitement. I hit the best, Coach Morgan. Uh, we were still about five seconds away out of that uh, break, so my apologies to our friends at Welch Forest Products. We'll make that up for you uh, down the road. But we have head coach of the boys' team, Jason Morgan, joining us. And, Coach, here we are. I know it came on fast for you, came on fast for everybody else, the end of the regular season. Well, I'll tell you, with the crowd tonight, the intensity tonight, and, of course, what's on the line for our girls, we're basically already in the playoffs, aren't we? That's right. This is – in, uh, in, in other sports, you might call it a play-in type game because uh, depending on these, the results tonight uh, in that girls bracket, you know, we could finish anywhere one, two, or three, and you, you, you really would rather not beat the three going into the tournament because I, I was saying in the pregame with Simpson, East Rank, and Leak in the girls bracket, it's amazing to think one of those teams is going to get left uh, left home, that, you know, that, at the end of the week, next weekend. That, that's tremendously tough. It is. So I, I know these ladies have been battling all season, and, uh, uh, you know, it comes down to the last night. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. They had an excellent first half. I'm, I'm sure they're just going to keep pushing. We're going to have a great second half, too. Yeah, there's been great energy, great effort, and the uh, home crowd has certainly uh, only fanned the flame here. But let's talk about uh, your boys' squad. And uh, you and I talked back the first of the month and uh, looking ahead through the uh, – through the rest of district play, um, size up your team where you think they are. Well, one thing I'm really thankful for, I'm thankful for health. Uh, when you get to this point in the year, one of the things you always root for is a healthy roster, and we're healthy. 
Um, another thing you root for is that over the course of the year, you know, basketball, of course, is not a sprint. It's a marathon. A lot of valuable lessons over the course of the year. And as this year has gone on, uh, we've learned a lot of things about handling the ball at the end of close games, the importance of free throws at the end of close games, uh, boy, the importance of, of just being intense every single trip down the floor when you're on defense. And the closer we get to the playoffs, the more intense we want our half-court defense to be. So uh, th those are things that I think the kids have done a good job of over the course of the year, uh, just learning and continue to get better at. If we're able to win tonight, we're 8-2 and two in the district, and we've gotten a first-round bye next week, so we like that. Um, you know, speaking of things that came down to the wire, there was an important Wayne Park Place game last night. Wayne closed out Park Place by six, I think, to guarantee themselves the three seed. So East Rankin and Wayne will play Tuesday night. We'll play the winner of those guys on Thursday night down at Simpson. So that, that'll be the first action we see next week. All right, so you, do you think that uh, a little extra time off going to mean going to be valuable for your club starting off? Yeah. Well, sure, we'll stay in the weight room so we can keep those muscles primed. Uh, I'm going to enjoy a couple of extra days at practice to just get us in the film room, break down some things. Uh, I, I know Wayne and Simpson are very, very different opponents, but defensively there are some points of comparison, so that's that's kind of neat. We'll, we'll yeah. be able to kind of work a little bit next week. East Rankin runs some zone. Wayne runs some zone. Simpson runs some zone. So I think there's a good chance we're going to see zone defense at the back end of the week next week. So we'll spend a little bit of extra time next week kind of focusing on attacking zone. What do you think, uh, what do you think your team needs to do to be successful against a, a good zone? Well, you know, one of the things that we talk about with Simpson, there's a, there's a particular tempo that Simpson likes to play, and then there's a particular tempo that Simpson is, is not very good at. Um, and so one of the things that we have to do, is we have to make them play the tempo. I try to build our team to be able to play any tempo. And when you go back and you break down film, when Simpson's allowed to play the tempo they want to play, they're very, very tough to beat. They're the state champs for a reason. But if you can disrupt their timing and their system a little bit, it, it gives you an opportunity. It's going to be fun. Uh, just a lot of things have to happen between now and then. But the prospect of getting another shot at them in a district title game, in their building, on a Friday night, uh, boy, it just doesn't get any better than that. We, we have a lot of things we have to do before we get to that point. But, uh, we're going to dream big, keep working, see if we can get there. All right. Well, we appreciate you joining us here at uh, Wendy's Halftime, and we wish you and the team uh, all all the success and good luck tonight against uh, East Rankin as we close, uh, close out here at the gym. Uh, just uh, one more comment here. You mentioned it earlier. Uh, uh, you know, this will be the last game uh, we'll, we'll play in the Joe F. Shepard gym. Uh, uh, talk about what this, uh, what this building means to the program. You know, I know, the crowd that's in it, of course. Well, I know, you know, all coaches have like a little game day uh, routine they get into. And, of course, there's some things we have to do when we're on the road. But I've got an afternoon routine that I go through every time we have a home game. And as I was on my way back from getting a little food in Carthage today, I thought this is the last time I get to do this until, you know, next October, or next November. The fans here are very, very special. The Madden store is very special. My parking spot here is very special. The things we get to do when we're at home and the things we hear, the people we're around, this building is very, very special. Um, there's just so many things that I'm going to miss. I got a little sentimental this afternoon thinking about, you know, this is our last home game of the year. Our seniors in particular, it's the last time they get to play here. This is one of the, uh, the truly special venues in the MAIS, and I love every opportunity I have to coach here. It's a real honor to get to coach in this building. Thanks so much, Coach Jason Morgan. We'll let you go. We'll let uh, everybody hear from our sponsors. But, again, best of luck to you and the Rebels tonight. You're the man. Thank you. All right. We'll send it to a break and come back. We'll be ready to start the second half. Lady Rebels 33, East Rankin 24 will return as East, excuse me, as Leak Academy basketball continues. When it comes to being champions of the hardwood, nobody knows what it takes to dominate the way the Rebels and Welch Forest Product does. Welch Forest Products and Union can clear timber from your property with the least amount of possible damage. Whether it's management, forestry care, pine plantation thinning, or site prep, call Paul Welch now at 601-774-8200. Anyone who thinks they're better than Welch Forest Products or Leak Academy Rebel Basketball? Heart of the rim, gets it in, and she'll go to the line. Count the basket. Is barking up the wrong tree. Achoo! Achoo! Bless you, Mama. Thank you. Mama, you know that yummy Medicine Moore's Pharmacy made for me? I bet they can make you some, too. Well, let me just give them a call. Morse Pharmacy is your specialty pharmacy for compounding and compliance packaging. This makes it easier if you take several prescriptions. And be sure to download their RX local app. This will make your wait time even shorter, if you can believe that. Morse Pharmacy, your only local independent pharmacy in Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. 
Boswell Media Sports. Quick look at the offensive stats through the first half. Liz Stevens, the leading scorer in the game for both ball clubs. He's ranking post player with 10 points. Five for Ansley Miller, four for Addison Brown, three for Holly Jackson, and two for Addison Derrick. For the Rebels, Jenna Allen has seven off a junction three and two two uh, two uh, two two point baskets. Anna Morgan Young with two junction threes and a made shot for eight. Five for Olivia Rudolph, two baskets and one for two free throw shooting. Six for Marley Myers off uh, three two point baskets in the second quarter, and Katie Jones has four. Sarah Prince with a junction three. 33-24, trying to rush through that because the Rebels are ready to inbound it. We're moving fast at the Joe F. Shepard gym. Tonight, we start the third quarter. Young, bounce pass in the post. Jones can't get it to go, but then the foul's committed in the scramble for the rebound. It looks like 22, Addison Derrick for East Rankin. Pick up the foul. L.A. leads it by nine as we start the third quarter, presented by In Sports. Nice cut down the lane, but Rudolph's shot blocked by Brown. Head to Miller. Now to Holly Jackson, guarded by uh, Young. She comes over the top of the screen. Now she'll rear up for three and send it back down. That's what Holly Jackson did to the Rebels a year ago in Pelahatchee. And then Olivia Rudolph wasn't ready for a pass from Cheatham, and it's taken away by Ansley Miller, but she can't finish on the layup. Rebound, Rudolph. Rebels running ahead to Jones. She dribbles once, goes up, draws the foul. Shot no good. Katie will get to shoot free throws. It looks like that one's going on ja Holly Jackson. That's the first on Jackson, team second. 7.15 to go. We're not even a minute deep. 33-27. The score, Katie Jones kind of sat on the back rim, then went to the front rim and went in. Katie has five. Second one, I knew it when it left her hand. That one was good. Rebels up eight, 35-27. Miller throws it away. She was trapped in the deep left side. and. There was a foul committed at midcourt. Ollie Jackson bodied up on Jones right in front of the official. No call, and the Rebels throw it away in the corner. East Rankin will really put the, put the torso up into the Rebels on the dribble. And Ollie Jackson right-hand dribbles into the front court, under seven to go in the third. Crossover around a Liz Stevens screen. Three on the way, straight through. She's hit three threes, and it's been nothing but net on all three. 35-30. Jackson has shot the Patriots back into this game, and they're going to get Rudolph for a push off at the top with a forearm. Olivia's first. Sarah Prince in for Young. But it's now a five-point game. Leak led by as many as 12 in the second quarter. And it's been Holly Jackson three-point shooting that has turned the tide and put, put it up for grabs here. Stevens trying to post up. Nothing there. They go in the left side of the lanes. Derrick now kicks out left side to Miller. Out to Jackson, guarded by Cheatham. They reverse to the left. Miller probe steps back to Jackson at the free throw line. She... Kicks out, open look from Miller, left side, going to be short. Looks like it goes off the legs of Rudolph into the corner, and East Rankin will keep it. Rudolph and Jones and Stevens were all in a mad dash to the corner, trying to chase down that rebound. So Jackson out of the right corner to Miller. Bell matches up on her. Wait for Holly Jackson to come out off the screen, but good job getting around it there by Cheatham. She comes over the top of a Liz Stevens screen. Stay in with her, going to the free throw line. Kick out Brown. Going to Stevens, away from the basket. 
Her pass in the interior, thrown away. Under the basket, East, East Rankin with the turnover, gives it to the Rebels, 542, clock starts ticking again. Rebels 35, and Lady Patriots 30. Free throw line extended left, Jones around a Rudolph screen, works right lane line, bounces to the corner, Prince goes to Rudolph. She's left open for three, that one halfway down and out, offensive board, Jones, her put back from six feet away, no good. Derrick and Jones scrapping for the ball, but Derrick gets it out to a teammate. Long pass ahead to Stevens, she bumps into Rudolph, misses the shot, but offensive board by Miller, sends it out to Holly Jackson for the reset. Three minutes deep now into the third. Leak ahead by five, and ERA has the ball. Liz Stevens, three feet behind the arc, gives it to Jackson. She'll put up a contested three that's, again, nothing but the bottom of the net. She's got three threes in this quarter, 12 overall. Sarah Prince for the answer. Misses off the, off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound Brown. Long pass ahead to Stevens, but she can't handle the pass, and it'll come the other way. The Rebels will have it. Jenna Allen into the game, replacing senior Ella Bell. We got a two-point game, 35-33. Leaks led by as many as 12, but Holly Jackson has shot her team back in to this game. Rebels going to have to find some answers there on defense. Right now it's Cheatham. On the right sideline to Prince around a Rudolph screen. Defensive switch there, and they go to Allen, guarded by Stevens. She dumps it down to Marley Myers, who got in perfect position in front of the goal and scored it off a perfect pass from Allen. Good assist from Allen. Eight points for Marley Myers, 37-33 Rebels. Stevens trying to back in on Myers, loses the ball. Sarah Prince able to pluck it up at the three-point line, and she'll put it on a dribble. To Jen Allen, left side. She's going hard. Baseline bounces out for an open two off the window. Missed by Prince. Myers able to get the offensive rebound. Sea of hands grabbing at her. But she comes out of the crowd with it and scores it from the right side. Timeout. With, no, the ball got away into the fan. Not a timeout, excuse me. Leak 39. He's drank at 33. And it's going to be a full timeout. Rebels up six third quarter. We'll be back. Whether it's the game of basketball or life itself, nobody wants to watch it from the sidelines. Performance Therapy in their two closest locations in Carthage and Philadelphia. Their professional and experienced team of therapists provide occupational speech and physical therapy and can customize a plan for both in location or online sessions. For more information, visit their locations on Highway 16 in Carthage or on Beacon Street in Philadelphia. Performance Therapy, proud supporter of Leak Academy Basketball. When dealing with something as complex as taxes and payroll can be, you can turn to Weaver Tax and Accounting to make things easier. Their professional staff works diligently to make sure your business and personal returns are complete and finished in a timely manner. Weaver Tax and Accounting will also execute your bookkeeping and payroll, bringing you the best in tax services since 1979. Weaver Tax and Accounting, 20 South Street, Sebastopol, and 109 Chadwick Avenue in Walnut Grove. Boswell Media Sports. Lady Rebels by six. They're trying to win this game and not only win it, but uh, win it by seven. A seven point win or better would guarantee the Rebels the number one seed in next week's district tournament. And probably a six point win would do it. Here's Jackson bothered by Cheatham. Keeps the dribble, drifts to the right behind the arc. Now holds the ball up. Cheatham really in her face. Hands it off to Miller. Miller. Gets it to Jackson, and she flips it back. A lot of physical play away from the basketball. 3.15, clock ticking, third period, presented by In Sports. And Brown, she's going to drive. Help comes from the weak side, but not in time. Brown scores over Marley Myers. 39-35. Here's a Jenna Allen junction three from the left wing. She's got 10. A whole lot of pressure going on, and now they're going to get Caroline Cheatham for roughing up Holly Jackson on the inbound. 
Cheatham's first, team second. But I'm going to tell you, Jackson can give it as well as she takes it. She dribbles it off somebody's foot. They say dribbled it off Sarah Prince's foot. So the Rebels were bringing a trap in on Jackson. She dribbled in the front court. They're trying to reduce her number of open looks. And there's a five-second call in front of the East Rankin bench. Brown couldn't find anywhere to go with it. It's Rebel ball leading 42-35, 2.44 to go in the third. Prince with a right-hand dribble, moves it back and forth, guarded by Jackson to Rudolph, who gives it back. She works left side, good handles around a Meyer screen. Out to Allen in the post. Double team comes to Myers. She puts it up, too strong off the glass. Rebound picked up off the bounce. Liz Stevens, East Rankin. She has not been the presence in the third period that she was early in the game. And it's been Holly Jackson. She's able to pass it to Stevens through the double team. She mishandles it. And Ball taken away by Rudolph for Leak. Two minutes to play in the quarter. Rearing up, firing for three, off the window, no good, missed by Cheatham. Rebound taken at the free throw line by Rudolph. Rebels get another chance. Here's Allen. Skip pass left side, catch and release three. Prince scoots off the back side of the rim, and Stevens will watch it go into the corner. Minute 45 to go. Presley Thompson into the game for a tired Liz Stevens. Thompson has three fouls. Rebel Sarah Prince carrying three as well. She's on the court. In fact, they're guarding each other right now. Thompson left side. Curl back out. Move it between the circles. Move it to the right. She comes so close to carrying that basketball just about every time she puts it on the dribble. Comes around a brown screen. Now moves it back out to Miller, guarded by Allen. Into the post. Myers reached over, tried to poke it away, and they'll get Myers for the foul. Two on her, team's third. Minute 21 to go in the quarter. Patriots will inbound, leak play man, nobody guarding the inbounder. Into Miller, to the corner, Jackson guarded by Cheatham. She'll fire to the top to, to Thompson who throws it away. She wanted to put a little nifty loop pass down to Derek, but Derek didn't even put her hands up. Katie Jones into the game for Marley Myers, who's given Leak some good minutes in this third quarter. Clock starts again, a minute seven, tick, 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 42-35, Leak ahead seven. Jones guarded by Derek. Free throw line left, now down the left lane line, going up and scoring. She's got eight in the game. Jackson flipping it up with a left hand in transition. She can score inside the three-point line as well. And there's Presley Thompson flipping it away from Jenna Allen. Here come the Patriots, down 44-37. Brown, quick three, clangs off the right side, rebound Jones. She'll find Caroline Cheatham up the right side to Prince in the corner, picked up by Miller. Now right-hand dribble between the circles, Rudolph. She'll bounce out, Cheatham. She's open for three, gonna leave it way long. Rebound Miller. Her pass inside. A collision underneath, no call, and Caroline Cheatham is injured. They're working five on four now as they go down to Brown. She can't score it. Prince controls it, and that'll be the end of the We'll be back in 60 seconds. Don't go anywhere, Leak Academy girl, girls basketball continues. Dr. Brooke Bobo and his staff at Carthage Veterinary Clinic wish you and your animals the very best. They treat all animals, large or small, with the care you would want for a member of your family. Carthage Veterinary Clinic provide for your sick or injured animals and also offer grooming and boarding as well. Located on Highway 16, Carthage Veterinary Clinic is open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 until 5.30 and Wednesday and Saturday from 7.30 till noon. Hey, if you're tired of being cooped up, 
Well, let me suggest that you head down to Ozark Ag on Highway 16 in Carthage. After all, they rule the roost when it comes to being the number one Big Dutchman dealer in the state. Plus, they carry all the brand names you've come to count on when it comes to your poultry products. Ozark Ag is also proud to be the sole distributor of Casco product line disinfectants. And they have exceptional poultry house service maintenance and supplies just waiting for you. So do yourself a favor. Stop feeling all cooped up and get down to Ozark Ag on Highway 16 in Carthage. Boswell Media Sports. Eight minutes of basketball left to play at the Joe F. Shepard Gym. Leak trying to finish first or no worse than second in District 2, leading 44 37. Philip Palmer Tree with you. Philly Steen in the studio. John Alden Crosby at my left running the camera. And a lot of enthusiastic fans in the gym. East Rankin basketball to start the quarter. League up seven. Jackson trying to work around. Tight defense by Jackson. She loses the ball. Excuse me, Cheatham runs out ahead. Can't finish. Got sped up. Rebound on the baseline. Miller. Leak missed a fast break opportunity there. Here's Miller. She thinks about the three. Now passes it up and somehow didn't drag her foot, according to the official. To Holly Jackson. Now she's open from a screen, leaves it short. Rebound tipped out to Anna Morgan Young for Leak. She rips it away from Miller. Gets tripped up from behind and no call. Fans are incredulous. Miller with it. Just ran up the back of her and knocked her down. Here's Jackson for a deep three that air balls and it'll be Leak basketball. I don't know how you miss a trip like that. Still 44-37. Rebels will play it in, bring it up the full length of the court. Prince handles it left side across the timeline, inside the three-point line. She probes, backs out to Cheatham. Quick pass to the lane, Jones. She can't score left side, gets her own rebound, but they'll get Derrick for climbing her back. Two on Addison Derrick. Senior Katie Jones will... Get to the charity stripe where she's two for two. She's got eight points. Fourth quarter presented by, by Central Mississippi Animal Clinic. They'll say the foul was committed on the floor. You have got to be kidding. Cheatham to inbound left of the basket. They take the shooting opportunity away. Inbound to Rudolph, right of the basket. Anna Morgan Young crashes to the floor. Rudolph bounces it to Young. Gives it out to Prince. Three, horseshoes out. But rebound saved by Katie Jones. She fakes, sends it back outside. The Morgan Young calling for it. Here's the three off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound Liz Stevens. He's drinking. Jackson on the dribble drive. Spins, puts it up. No good. Rudolph with position, but it's knocked away from her. And... Anna Morgan Young and Derrick go to the floor right baseline. It's going to be leak basketball, I think. 6.25 to play. Still 44-37. Nobody scored in this quarter. This crowd worked up into a lather. Deep right. Prince looks at Coach Hatch, just about 15 feet away. Now starts the dribble, goes to the left elbow. Jones fakes the shot, free throw line out to Rudolph, and they'll call her for the travel on the fake and then the drive. It looked like that was a call that wasn't going to be made by much against anybody tonight, but it gets made there. Two minutes deep into the fourth, here's Presley Thompson to Stevens at the free throw line working on. Jones, she flings it up left hand. Good D by Jones, but then Stevens takes it away from Jones and they'll call Jones for a blocking foul. Katie's carrying three now. Still a seven point game as the Lady Patriots spread out the baseline. They get it into Jackson in the right corner. Really guarded closely by Cheatham. To Brown, she'll shoot a deep three off the front of the rim. Rebound, Caroline Cheatham at the free throw line. 
She'll work around Ainsley Miller. Go on the left wing to Rudolph, directing some traffic as now she puts it on the dribble. Kick out Prince. Thought about the pass, but keeps the dribble. Goes to Anna Morgan Young, left corner, and Coach Amanda Hatch wants timeout with 5.25 to go. Will return, Leak leading 44-37, 5.25 remaining. Thank you. Moore's Pharmacy is my go-to pharmacy. I can pick up all my meds, shop for any occasion, get my gifts wrapped, and feel like part of the family while I'm there. There's nothing like shopping at home, supporting the very people I work with, go to church with, and am friends with. Moore's Pharmacy is a true asset to our community. Shortest wait, quickest service, and great prices? Moore's Pharmacy, Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. Dr. Ryan Anderson and his crew at Central Mississippi Animal Clinic love getting to know you and your pet. In addition to your pet's health care, they offer boarding that will be your fur baby's home away from home. Become a member of the Central Mississippi Animal Clinic family today. Download the Central Mississippi Animal Clinic app or go to centralmississippianimalclinic.com. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic, Highway 35, Carthage. <laughs> Boswell Media Sports. The league girls have led by as many as a dozen in the first half, led it by nine at half, lead it by seven now with five minutes, 25 seconds to go in the Central Mississippi Animal Clinic fourth quarter. Young, Rudolph, Jones, Cheatham, and Prince in the on the floor in white for Leak. Rebel basketball, baseline left. Olivia Rudolph, guarded by Brown. So the dribble gives it to Caroline Cheatham. And Holly Jackson really bodying up. Finally, they call Holly Jackson for the foul. That's her second. Stops the clock with 5.13 to go. Prince will play it on the side, far court, in front of the big money seats. Inbound to Cheatham. She's left open. She's going to drive, put it up with the right hand, and won't go in. Rebound Stevens for East Rankin. With the pass in the middle of the floor, swiped by Olivia Rudolph. The Rebels get another chance to extend a seven-point lead. East Rankin really playing tough defense here in the fourth. Nobody has scored and almost – Three and a half minutes of play, and there's a foul called out high. I think they're going to get Jackson again for getting too handsy out high. Nope, they're going to get it on Miller. Miller's first, team's third. Cheatham sends it into Prince, uses Katie Jones's screen, goes left corner. Young to the free throw line, Jones, and she'll. Pause, take a deep breath. Now put it on a little dribble down the left lane line. Get a pass, step past Stevens. She can't finish. Rebels having trouble finishing at the rim. East Rankin hanging in there. 420 clock going. Here's Brown at the free throw line. Shoots over Rudolph. Miss. Rebound Stevens. Put back no. And they'll get Katie Jones hacking her on the arm. Trying to. Stop the putback. Four fouls now on Katie. Put Stevens at the free throw line. She's made two of three. She scored 10 in the first half, has not scored in the second. She makes the first. 4-12 to go. Jenna Allen checks in. Caroline Cheatham. Caroline, the defensive specialist, and brought her in to cool down Katie, uh, excuse me, Holly Jackson of East Rankin. Second free throw, rolls all around and goes in for Stevens. Two for two trip, 44-39, 4-10 to go. Prince on the dribble. Works left and right, comes back, away from the basket to Rudolph, to Jenna Allen. Jackson reaching in, nearly slapping it away. Into the corner, Young called for the travel. She got bumped around. And pushed around by two different East Rankin players and no whistle call. They call her for the travel. Falling down in the lane. Here's Thompson. Prince guarding her. East Rankin trying to 
get closer. It's 44-39, 3.42, clock ticking. Stevens by herself behind the three-point line, left side. They'll give her that shot, but she's not going to take it. Miller at the top, guarded by Young, left side, Lauren Brown. It should be Addison Brown. To Presley Thompson. Patriots going to try to work for a high percentage shot. Here's Miller. Probes comes back behind the line. They go to Stevens, who's posted up on Jones. She's too far underneath, can't score it. Jones gets the rebound. They come in the left corner. Anna Morgan Young. Stevens closing out on her. Stevens able to knock Young's pass away. Taken by Addison Brown. Three minutes to play, 44-39. Open look, Miller, her three too long. Good position on the baseline. Jenna Allen to get the board. Head to Prince. She's in the trap. Steps through nicely. Keeps her dribble. Round to Jones screen. Moving behind the arc. Goes to the top. Drifts right. Still keeping the dribble. Around another screen as Rudolph and Jones are posted up high in a horn set. And they come out high for a ball screen. Into the corner. Young guarded by Thompson. Two and a half minutes. Steal, Holly Jackson as Young couldn't handle it. She'll get out ahead of everybody and miss the bunny at the other end. It rebound, Jenna Allen. Leak into the front court. 44-39 still. Leak has not scored in this quarter. But still they lead. Down toward two minutes to play. Anna Morgan Young guarded by Miller between the circles. Angles right on the dribble. Gets it to Prince. To Jenna Allen. Left side. Rudolph guarded by Holly Jackson. Hand off to Prince. Minute 45, clock ticking. Nifty behind the back dribble from Prince. Keeping Presley. There's a trip. and It's going to be the fifth foul, I think. No, it's going to be the fourth on Presley Thompson. Excuse me. Team's fourth. Minute 38 to go. Coach Brooke Rhodes, East Rankin, wants a timeout. We'll be back in 30 as the League Academy basketball continues. Roll into Junction Deli, where nourishment meets journey. On the menu, delectable breakfast, lunch, and supper. Whether you're in Philadelphia, Newton, Union, Carthage, Louisville, Oxford, or Scuba, we're the local pit stop that blends the allure of delicious food with the convenience of a fuel station. Remember, when your stomach grumbles or your tank covers on empty, we're just around the corner. Download the Junction app for ordering convenience and look for the new car wash in Louisville next to Walmart. Boswell Media Sports. L.A. hanging on for dear life, 44-39. Only two points have been scored in this quarter. Two Liz Stevens free throws. That has been it. No made shots by either team and just 98 seconds left to play. Rebel basketball, inbound comes from Rudolph to Allen. She gives it back on the left sideline. Katie Jones out near the midcourt stripe, takes the pass. She bluffs once, twice, now dribbles with the right hand, gives it to Sarah Prince, ball handler. 122, clock ticking. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic, fourth quarter. Jones with it, receiving the pass from Allen between the circles. Stevens coming out to guard her away from the back. Looks like they're going to force East Rankin to start reaching in and fouling. Rebels don't look interested in working it inside. They go to Prince. Everybody's behind the arc. Jenna Allen open on the left side. 55 seconds. Coach Brooke Rhodes calling her team to come out, reach, try to, try to do something. And there's the reach-in foul committed by Addison Brown. Her first, team's fifth. Lee can win this game. I think make some free throws. 47 seconds to go. Eighth grader Sarah Prince at the line, and she's solid on the first one. Got four points, looking for five. Cheatham in for Allen. 45-30. 45-39, six-point lead. Can Sarah make it seven? The crowd will let you know. She did. 46-39 into 
Jackson in the corner. Cheatham guarding her. She goes inside the three-point line. Now uses up the dribble. Out to Thompson, 35 seconds. Thompson stepping through, puts up a left-hand runner that's good. First made basket with 30 seconds to go. Coach Hatch wants timeout with 28 seconds left. And Leak leading East Rankin 46-41. Stay with us as Leak Academy basketball continues. Like athletes on the road to victory, you can count on TNK Farms Trucking and Land Services to lead the way, and custom work is their specialty. From home sites and driveways, land clearing, forestry mowing, pond and road building, TNK Farms Trucking and Land Service Project. Looking for gravel, stone fill, dirt, or sand? TNK Farms Trucking and Land Services has you covered. TNK Farm and Trucking. Follow them on Facebook or stop by in person just off Highway 25 at 1128 Liberty Road in Louisville. Credit card payments accepted. Boswell Media Sports. Just 28 seconds left. East Rankin pressuring full court against. Leak, Olivia Rudolph, the senior, to put it into play. Inbound just at the last possible half second to Katie Jones. She comes middle of the floor to Jenna Allen. Goes to Prince into the front court. 19 seconds, clock ticking. Leak running, using speed. Miller trying to come out and take it away. And they call Prince for a travel at midcourt. And Coach Hatch was trying to call timeout. Nobody would recognize it. Coach Brooke Rhodes wants a timeout. She'll be granted that timeout with 13.7 seconds to go. We'll keep it here. We'll remind you of the, the point issue in this game as far as next week's district tournament in Mendenhall is concerned. The Rebels can get the one seed if they win by seven or more. Coach Hatch thinks if we win by six, we've got the next tiebreaker, so we would still be the one. But you win by fewer than six points, you're the two seed. Of course, if you lose, you're the three, and you want to stay out of that territory in this really competitive District 2 in MAIS 5A. But we got to finish this one. 13.7 seconds to go in the Central Mississippi Animal Clinic fourth quarter. Rebels 46. East Rankin 41. The Rebels have not made a shot from the field in the fourth quarter. Just two Katie Jones, excuse me, two Sarah Prince free throws. Patriot basketball in front of the Rebel bench with 13.7 to play. LA's in the bonus. ERA is not. Presley Thompson. Come into the front court. They need points quickly, and there's a collision. Foul called away from the basketball. Looks like it's going on. Rudolph. That's her second. Team's third. Stops the clock with nine seconds to play. Two possession game. Play it in. Midcourt on the side. Another collision. They'll call a foul on Leaks, Sarah Prince. She's got four, 7.4 seconds. Leaks got the fouls to give until now. Now they do not need the foul. And time granted, Coach Brooke Rhodes. We've got 7.4 seconds to go. Rebels 46, East Rankin. 41, and we'll take the break. Baptist League Rural Health Clinics have a variety of health care options with primary care, pediatrics, and women's health. Providing care at three locations in Carthage, Walnut Grove, and Madden. Call 601-267-14 day to schedule your appointment. Extended hours and Saturdays are available at our primary care clinic located in Carthage. Baptist League making your health care our number one priority. Experience the South Group Cox Agency difference. We work with clients of established businesses, startups, young and established families, retirees, and high net worth individuals. South Group Cox has a statewide presence, local knowledge, and superior expertise. We are committed to be your hometown and long-term trusted advisor and have access to insurance and risk management solutions while at the same time offering you a more rate. South Group Cox Agency open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., 207 West Main Street, Carthage. 
All right, back to play, 7.4 seconds. East Rankin basketball at midcourt. Into Presley Thompson. Rebels don't need to foul. But they do foul. That's Prince, and that's her fifth. She fouls out with 5.2 seconds. To the free throw line goes Presley Thompson. Two points. Just the only, in fact, she's made the only field goal in this fourth quarter by either team. Presley Thompson off to the left with a free throw. We're still 46 41. Second free throw from Thompson off the mark left. Rebound, Katie Jones. Somebody looking to foul, but the foul's not committed, and the clock runs out. And that's the end of the ball game. Well, the Rebels get revenge, but it's 46-41. So League's going to be the number two seed in next week's district tournament in Mendenhall. And East Rankin able to make sure that uh, that, that happens. So we've got the Ozark Ag postgame coming up. Stay with us. League Academy basketball continues. Dr. Brooke Bobo and his staff at Carthage Veterinary Clinic wish you and your animals the very best. They treat all animals, large or small, with the care you would want for a member of your family. Carthage Veterinary Clinic provide for your sick or injured animals and also offer grooming and boarding as well. Located on Highway 16, Carthage Veterinary Clinic is open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 until 5.30 and Wednesday and Saturday from 7.30 till noon. Choo, a choo. Bless you, Mama. Thank you. I mean, Madison Moore's Pharmacy made for me. I bet they can make you some, too. Well, let me just give them a call. Morse Pharmacy is your specialty pharmacy for compounding and compliance packaging. This makes it easier if you take several prescriptions. And be sure to download their RX local app. This will make your wait time even shorter, if you can believe that. Morse Pharmacy, your only local independent pharmacy in Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. Roll into Junction Deli, where nourishment meets journey. On the menu, delectable breakfast, lunch, and supper. Whether you're in Philadelphia, Newton, Union, Carthage, Louisville, Oxford, or Scuba, we're the local pit stop that blends the aloof with the convenience of a fuel station. Remember, when your stomach grumbles or your tank covers on empty, we're just around the corner. Download the Junction app for ordering convenience and look for the new car wash in Louisville next to Walmart. Like athletes on the road to victory, you can count on TNK Farms Trucking and Land Services to lead the way, and custom work is their specialty. From home sites and driveways, land clearing, forestry mowing, pond and road building, TNK Farms Trucking and Land Services can pave the way to your next project. Looking for gravel, stone fill, dirt, or sand? TNK Farms Trucking and Land Services has you covered. TNK Farm and Trucking. Follow them on Facebook or stop by in person just off Highway 25 at 1128 Liberty Road in Louisville. Credit card payments accepted. Baptist League Rural Health Clinics have a variety of health care options with primary care, pediatrics, and women's health. Providing care at three locations in Carthage, Walnut Grove, and Madden. Call 601-267-1470 today to schedule your appointment. Extended hours and Saturdays are available at our primary care clinic located in Carthage. Baptist League, making your health care our number one priority. Bring you back from the Ozark Act post game from the Joe F. Shepard Gym. A 46-41 win for the league girls guarantees them the two seed in the district tournament next week down at Simpson Academy. The, all the matchups should be posted either later this evening or first thing in the morning. And you can check League Academy Sports on social media. And uh, once we get it at Kicks 96, we'll also put that up as well as Boswell Media Sports is your home for League Academy postseason basketball. We'll bring you every game long as the Rebels are playing, we'll be bringing it to you. Uh, and uh, we'll be in Mendenhall next week. So Rebels, uh, boys team guaranteed the two, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. We need to wrap up this girls game first. Leak had a three-point lead after one, led by nine in uh, after the second. And then 
Holly Jackson of East Rankin got hot, made three threes and a two, kind of single-handedly brought her team back into contention. It was 44-37, and then the Rebels did not make a shot in the fourth quarter, scored only two points off two free throws by Sarah Prince. But they defended East Rankin well. East Rankin only made one shot, made two out of four free throws, and Leak holds on for the win. They wanted to win by six or more to get the one seed, but that's not how it shook out. 14 points for Jackson, outstanding sophomore shooter. Liz Stevens, their young post player, had 10 points in the first half, but uh, seemed to uh, run out of gas in the second half. She made two free throws in the second, finishes with a dozen. Addison Brown scored six, Ansley Miller five, and two apiece for Addison Derrick and Presley Thompson for East Rankin, now 29 and six, and they finish at eight and two in that three-way tie at the top of the district. Uh, the, the uh, let's see, the, or in the top two there with it, uh, with the district uh, race. So for the Rebels, flipping it over on the offensive side, two players in double figures, and they were players who came off the bench. Junior Marley Myers with ten points off five bait shots, ten points for Jenna Allen off two junction threes and two twos, eight for. Senior Katie Jones, she made three shots from the field and went two for two at the line. Anna Morgan Young scored eight points in the first half off a two and a pair of junction threes. Five apiece by Sarah Prince, who fouled out in the closing seconds. She made a junction three in the first half and went two for two at the line in the second. Olivia Rudolph scored five first quarter points off two made shots and one for two at the line. Caroline Cheatham and Ella Bell appeared in the game but didn't score. To recap it, Myers and Allen with 10 apiece. Jones and Young with eight each. Eight, five each for Sarah Prince and Olivia Rudolph in the 41, excuse me, 46-41 uh, victory for the Lady Rebels. We'll take one and set you up quickly for the boys game. Don't go anywhere as Leak Academy basketball continues. At Wendy's, you don't need a psychic to tell you your hamburger's gonna taste great. Excuse me? Because every square hamburger is a sign you're getting the best. Did someone say sign? Four corners of hot and juicy fresh beef that make deliciousness its destiny every time. Hold on, I'm getting fresh beef. When you want the best hamburger, square's the beef. Choose wisely. Choose, Choose Wendy's Dave Single. I am a psychic, after all. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S., Alaska, and Canada. Roll into Junction Deli, where nourishment meets journey. On the menu, delectable breakfast, lunch, and supper. Whether you're in Philadelphia, Newton, Union, Carthage, Louisville, Oxford, or Scuba, we're the local pit stop that blends the allure of delicious food with the convenience of a fuel station. Remember, when your stomach grumbles or your tank covers on empty, we're just around the corner. Download the Junction app for ordering convenience and look for the new car wash in Louisville next to Walmart. Boswell Media Sports. Thank you for listening to Leak Academy Basketball tonight on Cruising 98.3 FM all over East Central Mississippi. Or if you're enjoying this game, on the Boswell Media Sports YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe box and we'll let you know every time we go on the air with Leak Academy Basketball. We get to the Moore's Pharmacy pregame for the boys. Coach Morgan's squad 22 and 8. Overall season record and 7 and 2, hoping to finish 8 and 2 in the district tonight against East Rankin. And it's time for the Baptist Medical League starting lineups. East Rankin has not registered, at least on line, a single win of the year. Either in, so 0 for 13 overall, 0 for 9. Now, there may be some wins that didn't get put on max preps, but here we go. They'll start sophomore Channing Dively. And sophomore Brody Durham. They'll start junior Dalton McDill. Reese Cordell, senior, and senior Cooper Loper. So McDill, Durham, Dively, Loper, Cordell. Coach Josh Stewart's East Rankin Patriots in traveling Navy. White numbers, white trim, pats down the side, and white outlined lettering. 
and the East Rankin logo above the numbers on the front of the Navy jerseys. For the Rebels in home white, Navy numbers, Navy uh, leak emblazoned in Navy on the front, everything trimmed in red piping. Samuel Prince, sophomore at 6'5". Ten, Tate Edwards, 5'9", junior in the starting lineup for L.A. Trey Clark, the six-foot-tall junior, getting the start tonight. And Jake Freeney, the 5'5", senior point guard. And Ben Jackson, 6'3", senior. Edwards at 5'9", Jackson at 6'3", Freeney at 5'5". Clark and Prince each at six foot tall for Coach Jason Morgan's Leak Academy Rebels. Coming off a 59-46 loss at Simpson. Prince had 15, Edwards had 12. Last time these teams met, it was a blowout of blowout, 64-27 in Pelahatchee on December 15, and Leak led 55-10 at the half. South Group Cox kickoff, uh, tip off controlled by Samuel Prince, and he passes quickly to Trey Clark, who scores a layup from the right side. Quickly, it's 2 0 Rebels. First quarter brought to you by Carthage Vet Clinic. Cordell, well, excuse me, that's Loper, leveled off in the lane by Clark. Goes to McDill as can't score it from hung up on the heel of the rim for a while before falling off and last touched by ERA. Jake Freeney, the senior, on the dribble to Clark, excuse me, to Prince and left corner Edwards. He's going to dribble inside the three point line, give it to Jackson at the top of the key. Now to Clark. He'll left hand dribble to the free throw line, uses it up to Edwards, fakes the shot, goes into the lane right in front of the free throw line and puts it in off the square. 4-0 Leak, one minute deep. Leak playing man on the defensive end. Loper throws it away, intercepted by Freeney. He gets out ahead of everybody and gets the layup from the right side. Quick 6-0. He's drinking into the front court. Cooper Loper, the senior, working on Clark, going right side, puts up a shot, hit off the side of the backboard, and off the hands of Loper, out of bounds. Leak, long pass ahead, saved in bounds by Dively. Transition, but there's Ben Jackson to block the Loper layup attempt from the left side. Came in fast and strong, senior Ben Jackson. Leak six, East Rankin nothing. The inbound pass thrown away into the leak bench intended for Cordell. Freeney. Going left side, Prince draws a double team, kick out to Edwards, three on the way, straight through, junction three. For junior, Tate Edwards on the left side, his favorite side of the court. And East Rankin will throw it away in the backcourt against some pressure. 9-0 Rebels, 6-0-7. And we'll remind you, Rebel three-pointers presented by Prince Oil, the many locations of the junction. Carthage, Louisville, Newton, Scuba, Union, Oxford, and Ridgeland. Inbound pass to Jake Freeney. He bluffs the three, comes around a Jackson screen to the free throw line. Now steps back, fires a fall away three that's nothing but the bottom of the net. Junction three, Jake Freeney. Timeout called by the Patriots. 5.57 to play in the first. Rebels up 12 nothing. Like athletes on the road to victory, you can count on TK Farms Trucking and Land Services to lead the way, and custom work is their specialty. From home sites and driveways, land clearing, forestry mowing, pond and road building, TK Farms Trucking and Land Services can pave the way to your next project. Looking for gravel, stone, fill, dirt, or sand? TK Farms Trucking and Land Services has you covered. TK Farm and Trucking. Follow them on Facebook or stop by in person just off Highway 25 at 1128 Liberty Road in Louisville. Credit card payments accepted. <laughs> Boswell Media Sports. 
LA's jumped out to a 12 0 lead, and they'll apply some backcourt pressure on East Rankin. 5.57 to go in the Carthage Vet Clinic first quarter. Reese Cordell handling the ball. Pass into the front court, intercepted by Jackson, flipped over nicely to Edwards. His right hand lay in won't go, but the rebound's kept alive on the left baseline by Freeney. A reverse to Edwards on the right side. Deep wide and right to Trey Clark and gets it to Freeney. The Rebels will reset things. Into the post, nice pass from Jackson to a cutting Samuel Prince, and he's fouled before the shot goes up. Five and a half minutes to play in the quarter. Foul on Brody Durham of East Rank in his first. Inbound Jackson. Out to Trey Clark. He'll dribble once, go to Edwards. His spot on the floor for the three. Now a little bit short, but rebounded on the offensive board by Jackson. Put back, no. Rebound by Dively of East Rankin. Patriots come the other way, looking to get that zero off the scoreboard. Loper to Dively at the top. He thought about taking the three, but doesn't pull the trigger. Bring Loper out between the circles, guarded by Clark. That twin high screeners, and they move them down over to the right side. Get it to Dively, Freeney fronting him. Prince tried to step into the passing lane to intercept the pass, but it was off the mark anyway. McDill couldn't handle it, and it's Rebel basketball with 4.46 to go, 12-0. Jackson holds the ball up. Now bounces left side behind the arc to Edwards, right side to Prince. Prince, a little give and go action, but the ball's off Prince's leg, taken away by Dively for East Rankin. Up top to Loper, his shot from the free throw line, rejected by Jackson. Rebels have running three to two, the three on two the other way, and there with a nifty move to the left, but keeping the right hand, laying it in is Samuel Prince with his first bucket. 14-0. Prince knocks the ball loose in the backcourt. Picked up Edwards. His runner at the rim rejected over the end line. Dalton McDill, 5'10", junior, swatting that one away. Midway point of the first quarter. It's leak 14, ERA nothing. Freeney takes the inbound pass left corner, guarded by Loper. Goes to... Samuel Prince posted up in the blocks left side. Triple team comes to him. His shot no good, but rebounded Jackson. Jackson's put back off the mark. Here come the Patriots off the rebound. Jake. So there's McDill. He's going in. His shot rejected by Jackson. It's just a SWAT party right now. Quick hands by Cooper Loper to deflect. Pass intended for Tate Edwards out of bounds, and there'll be a five-man shift change for the Rebels at the 331 mark of the first quarter. Matthew Nowell, Lucas Thomas, Gage Warren, Jack Harkins, and Warner Young. Matthew Nowell, deep left, right-hand dribble, middle of the floor. Nice look out of the high post. From Thomas to Warner Young, cut into the basket, and Warner scores it from the left side. 16-0 Rebels. Pressure continues. Going to the floor, Loper throwing it away into the Rebel sideline, and it's leak basketball. 3.08 to go, Carthage Vet Clinic first quarter. Expect to have Coach Amanda Hatch join us at the half. Talk about the girls game. Here's a... Nice drive straight to the 10 by Matthew Nowell, and he lays it up with the right hand. 18-0 Rebels. Warner Young deflects pass out of bounds. East Rankin plays it in on the side. 2.50 to play in the first. Right now, then, the Patriots have shots attempted. Right corner, Loper through the double team to the top. McDill, left side, Cordell, nothing for him. They go to Loper, he's open for three. Air balls it, rebound on the offside, Jack Harkins. And the Rebel Junior will dribble it, get it to Nowell across the timeline. 2.20 to play in the quarter. Harkins straddles the three-point line, and they send it back to Nowell. 
Patriots playing man defense all the way first quarter. The Rebels have an 18-0 lead and a great dish from Young down to Warren, but he can't finish at the rim. Here's Loper, Warren guarding him. Versus left side, Cordell. Pass the other way. Loper able to get it. Open three, nicks the front of the rim. McDill tries to save it, but sends it right to Lucas Thomas of Leak. And there's a beautiful pass from Nowell down to Harkins, but he can't finish with a reverse lay-in. Minute 38 to play, still 18 zip. Dively dribbles left to right, goes to Loper, guarded by Harkins. He goes into the lane, gives it up left side. Nothing there for Cordell. Out to the top to Loper. Rebels doing a good job denying good looks. And then Loper is able to put up a floater in front of the basket, four feet away for two. Gage Warren going up hard to the rim, getting contact, scoring off the backboard. He'll get to the line for the end one opportunity. That foul going on Loper, I think. Yes, Loper's first. Count the two for freshman Gage Warren. He'll shoot free throws. A one free throw makes it. 21-2 LA. 70 seconds to go in the first. Now all harassing Cordell in the backcourt. The Rebels get the steal. Lucas Thomas ahead to Warren for a nice athletic right-hand lay-in. It's a timeout with a minute and one seconds to play. 23-2, Lee comfortably in front. We'll return in 30. Woodstock Furniture in Philadelphia says, let's go Rebels. My coach Hatch and Morgan, Woodstock Furniture has a game plan to score big time savings for our Rebel faithful all season long. Family owned and operated, Woodstock Furniture at 70 Canal Place in Philadelphia behind McAllister's has a winning tradition with their low price guarantee on furniture for every room in the house. Plus, if you buy it today, you get it today. Woodstock Furniture at 70 Canal Place in Philadelphia loves the Rebels like the Rebels love to win. Love to win. Boswell Media Sports. League 23, East Rankin 2. Minute left in the first quarter. It's Jason Morgan squad. They'll bring Prince back into the ball game. Placing Warner Young, but Warren, Harkins, Nowell, and Thomas staying out there. And they'll set up with full court pressure. Inbound to Loper. He dribbles it off his foot, steal, and conversion of the other end. Steal and assist for Warren, two for Harkins. 25-2. Long pass into the front, and then Loper had an open teammate underneath. He had 25, Braden Ingram, wide open in the lane, but went off his fingertips out of bounds. Leak will take it with 40 seconds. Harkins in the right corner, left-hand dribble into the paint, denied. Back outside, they work it to the left for a Gage Warren, junction three. He's got six, 28-2, 25 seconds clock ticking first quarter. Rebels' Matthew Nowell will commit a foul in the backcourt coming over the back of Channing Dively of East Rankin. Lock starts again as the Patriots in navy blue get into the front court. Loper's pass deflected, but he retrieves it, and he's able to go strong to the rim and score it from the right side. 28-4. Long pass, left corner. Warren tries to lob it down to Harkins underneath, but that pass was too strong out of bounds. 2.5 to go in the quarter. Steal Lucas Thomas on the inbound. He'll find a three from the corner and air ball it too deep. 28-4. Leak up by 24. We'll be back in 60 seconds as Leak Academy basketball continues. 
Woodstock Furniture in Philadelphia says, let's go Rebels. Mike Coach Hatch and Morgan, Woodstock Furniture has a game plan to score big time savings for our Rebel faithful all season long. Family owned and operated, Woodstock Furniture at 70 Canal Place in Philadelphia behind McAllister's has a winning tradition with their low price guarantee on furniture for every room in the house. Plus, if you buy it today, you get it today. Woodstock Furniture at 70 Canal Place in Philadelphia loves the Rebels like the Rebels love to win. Love to win. Winter in central Mississippi may feel a bit different than other regions. It could feel like winter in the morning and summer by the afternoon. To keep your home comfortable, which may mean adjusting your thermostat by a few degrees, Central Electric recommends setting your thermostat at 68 degrees and changing your HVAC filters once a month. Make sure to seal your doors and windows if air is escaping or coming in. Central Electric, serving you since 1937. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer. Boswell Media Sports. Second quarter getting underway. Clark, Edwards, Freeney, Jackson, and Prince. Starting five back out there for the Rebels in white. Truett Lewis, post player, checked in for the Patriots. Another four, part of the starting five. There's a parking lot three from Loper off the front of the rim. Rebound Jackson in the paint. Outlets to Freeney. Now down to Edwards. He'll try three from the right side. Too long. No good. Rebound McDill for East Rankin. Rebels 28. East Rankin four after one. Second quarter is presented by Central Electric Power Association. Behind the three-point line. Cordell gives it up to Truett Lewis. He'll fire three from the top that bangs over out of bounds on the left sideline. Excuse me, the right sideline away from us. Team rebound for L.A. Long pass for a Edwards three short. Two Patriots get there. Cordell claiming the rebound. He'll let everybody get on past and bring it across the midcourt line. Right-hand dribble guarded by Edwards. Goes to the nice job anticipating by Ben Jackson. He'll go up strong, but leave it short. But there to clean it up and score it is sophomore Samuel Prince. 30 to four. Jackson, I think, had dreams of a tomahawk slam there that uh, woke up from that dream a little bit early. Lewis with a wild two from 12 feet out. No good. And Clark gets pushed underneath trying to claim the rebound. East rank. Cordell, excuse me, uh, Loper, I think, committing the foul. He did indeed. That's his second. Team's first of the quarter. Leak 30. East ranking four. The route is on. Rebels lob it down from Edwards to Jackson, he can't handle it, misses it, but gets his own rebound back. Left-hand stick back won't go, and he gets fouled going back up. Foul goes on Truett Lewis. Leak inbounds it, gets it to Tate Edwards on the left sideline. He'll dribble twice, go to the right, excuse me, left elbow Prince. Now right to Freeney. Prince open, left side three, comes off the rim and over the top of the backboard. It'll belong to the Patriots with six minutes to play before half. Dively handling the basketball, right sideline, gives it to Loper. He has scored both baskets for East Rankin, trying to make it three. The shot partially blocked by Prince, and Prince tips it in the corner. Trey Clark hustles over to get it. Now the hands of senior Jake Freeney. Freeney goes baseline to Prince, who gets fouled heading to the rim. They'll say the foul was committed on the floor, and it's Lewis getting his second. Brody Durham returns to the game, replaces Lewis. Aiden Carlisle into the game now, seeing his first action placing Reese Cordell for East Rankin. Left corner, Freeney, he'll catch, release three, smooth as silk for senior Jake Freeney. The junction three makes it 33-4. Jake's second junction three of the night. 
Here's Dively working to the left, tracing around the three-point line. Now is to come back middle of the floor to Loper, guarded by Clark. Loper, left lane line going up. Two Rebels converge on him, and they'll get Clark for hacking him on the arm. His first, first Rebel foul of the night, five minutes, 10 seconds to go in the Central Electric Power Association's second quarter. Loper at the free throw line, misses. And softly off the heel. It's his second. That one too deep as well, and in position, boxing out nicely, Samuel Prince goes to Freeney. Quick pass for a three from Clark. Way too long, rebound Dively on the offside. Five minutes to go in the second. Leak leading by 29 points. Dively comes deep wide right to Loper. It's guarded by Tate Edwards. He's trying to work back and forth around a screen from Durham. Runner in front of the free throw line missed. Offensive board, McDill, his putback rejected into the corner by Prince. <laughs> Reese Cordell comes in, and Aiden Carlisle heads back to the side for East Rankin. ERA plays it in. Cordell working on Edwards into the lane, tries a scoop shot left side, left short. Edwards in position to get the rebound. Here come the Rebels. They're finding some quick looks and quick shots. Here's Edwards, comes around a screen for a junction three attempt. Left short, rebound Cordell, left baseline. Comes up hard into the front court. Met by Edwards and leveled off in front of the, just past the three point line, but he keeps, goes around and is able to score at right baseline. And a little extra gear and put it in to make it 33-6. Foul called right baseline as Cordell holding on Trey Clark. That's Looper's third. Team's fourth, 4 to play. The shift change will happen again. Warren, Thomas, Harkins, Young, and Nowell. Midway point of the second. Ball for deep three, Harkins, a little too deep on the shot. Rebound up near the free throw line, claimed by Reese Cordell of East Rankin. Patriots into the front court. Rebels stayed man the entire game. Here's Cordell staying in this game with three fouls. Three from McDill right side, off the mark, but saved in bounds. Cordell will try and score it from the left side with a three. 33-9. Answer, left corner, Warren's three. He started heading up court after he had released the ball. He knew that junction three was going in. That's his second of the evening, and we've got timeout with 3.27 to go. Rebels 36, East Rankin 9. Whether it's the game of basketball or life itself, nobody wants to watch it from the sidelines. Performance Therapy in their two closest locations in Carthage and Philadelphia. Their professional and experienced team of therapists provide occupational speech and physical therapy and can customize a plan for both in-location or online sessions. For more information, visit their locations on Highway 16 in Carthage or on Beacon Street in Philadelphia. Performance Therapy, proud supporter of Leak Academy Basketball. When dealing with something as complex as taxes and payroll can be, you can turn to Weaver Tax and Accounting to make things Things easier. Their professional staff works diligently to make sure your business and personal returns are complete and finished in a timely manner. Weaver Tax and Accounting will also execute your bookkeeping and payroll, bringing you the best in tax services since 1979. Weaver Tax and Accounting, 20 South Street, Sebastopol, and 109 Chadwick Avenue in Walnut Grove. Boswell Media Sports. Second quarter, 3.27 to go. Rebels 36, East Rankin 9 in the boys' game. The girls won 46-41 earlier. We'll have Coach Amanda Hatch talk to us during the Wendy's halftime. Patriot ball. And they throw it away into the front court. And excuse me, into the back court. McDill thought his teammate was going to stay up there near the L.A. logo, and he cut to the inside and the ball just 
Went over the end, over the midcourt line. Lee takes it on the turnover at midcourt. ERA looking like they're playing some 2-3 zone now. Here's Harkins, well behind the three-point arc. Loop it down, Bung, left block, going to Thomas. His shot sent out of there by Brody Durham. A foul called on Durham, though. To him, Lucas Thomas going to the line. 2.56 to play. The Rebel senior bounces the ball twice. Ball rolls all over the rim but comes off left. No good. Makes the second. Leak 37. ERA 9. Rebels get a steal at midcourt. Deflection by Harkins. Steal by Thomas. And he tries to get it ahead to Harkins, but it's batted over the end line. Into the padding. Lee keeps it. Warren sends it to Nowell in the corner. Catch, release, three swirls in for the junior. Junction three for Matthew Nowell. He scored seven points. It's 40-9. to nine. Foul called out high away from the ball. They're going to call offensive foul on East Rankins. Channing Dively, his first, team's fifth. So Leak plays it offensively. Harkins to Young in the corner. He wants to join the three-point affair and goes off the heel. And then Gage Warren touched it last, trying to snare the rebound. Leak up 31 points coming down the final two minutes of quarter number two. Second quarter presented by Central Electric Power Association. Rebels tip the pass out of bounds. Carlisle sends it in to Cordell. To McDill holding the ball dead left right wing. Good anticipation, Warner Young nearly able to take it away and off Warner Young's chest and out of bounds. Carlisle, pass out to the middle of the floor, taken away by Harkins. He'll get a defender to run into him, but no foul. Warner Young there can't get the put back to go off the miss. The ball comes squirting out. Out on the side, taken by Channing Dively of East Rankin. He'll hesitate, trying to send it to Carlisle. He misses, but Cordell's runner on the left side, no good. That's touched by Gage Warren of Leak. Loper returns to the game for Dively with a minute 34 to go in the second. Pass comes deep, wide right to Cordell. Gets a return pass from Carlisle. Loper off a screen at the top, guarded by Harkins. Left side, Carlisle. Start a right-hand dribble, guarded by Warren. Finds Loper at the top between the circles. He'll rear up, put up a high arcing three that's good. Cooper Loper has scored nine points. It's 40 to 12, one minute to play in the half. Here's Harkins in the right corner. Left hand dribble out to the top. Bounces the ball to Matthew Nowell. Now to Warren left side. Bounce pass in the lane, deflected. Loose ball claimed by Gage Warren. He's going to step through two defenders and lay it up in front of the rim. Forty-two twelve. 11 points for Gage Warren off the bench. 30 seconds to play in the half. Here's Loper, stopped 15 feet out from the basket, goes to teammate for a three that's missed, but put back on the left side. Good job by McDill to get in there and put the offensive board back in. Second chance point makes it 42-14, 12 seconds to play in the quarter as the Rebels work in the half court. Warren works it left to right. Middle of the floor, Young. 
Goes to Thomas. He wasn't ready for it. Goes up. Shot partially blocked in that quarter with us with our score leak 42 and 14 for East Rankin. We'll take a short break and come back with the Wendy's halftime and talk to girls head basketball coach Amanda Hatch. So don't go anywhere as Leak Academy basketball continues from Boswell Media Sports. Winter in central Mississippi may feel a bit different than other regions. It could feel like winter in the morning and summer by the afternoon. To keep your home comfortable, which may mean adjusting your thermostat by a few degrees, Central Electric recommends setting your thermostat at 68 degrees and changing your HVAC filters once a month. Make sure to seal your doors and windows if air is escaping or coming in. Central Electric, serving you since 1937. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer. What's the three most important words in sports? We got game. And in sports, located in Philadelphia, can take yours to another level. Whether it's custom printing for your home team or our local high schools, you can always count on in sports when it comes to having what you need when you need to look your best. From apparel to accessories, let in sports at 431 Beacon Street in Philadelphia prove to you what it means when they say, We got game. In sports, proud supporter of the Leak Academy Rebels. Dr. Brooke Bobo and his staff at Carthage Veterinary Clinic wish you and your animals the very best. They treat all animals, large or small, with the care you would want for a member of your family. Carthage Veterinary Clinic provide for your sick or injured animals and also offer grooming and boarding as well. Located on Highway 16, Carthage Veterinary Clinic is open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 until 5.30 and from 7.30 till noon. Hey, if you're tired of... We're going to come back for the Wendy's halftime. We've got head coach Amanda Hatch here as the girls get a 46-41 win against East Rankin. And uh, coach, uh, let, let's start with the first. Start with the first thing. Uh, we end up winning that game by five points. Uh, tell our audience what that means now as uh, seeding starts to take shape for the district tournament in Mendenhall next week. Okay, so, you know, great win for the Lady Rebels tonight. Super yeah. proud of and our we efforts. We will come to that, yes. And, uh, you know, we, we did come up one point short of stealing the number one seed away from East Rankin heading into next week. But we did jump Simpson with the win, so we jumped from the third seed to the second seed. Um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of where we are. Well, this is the last regular season game and uh, last game that uh, for this season here in the Joe F. Shepard Gym. Sure felt like a playoff game, though, didn't it? A it really tournament did. game. You know, and I hope everybody that, that's listening will just hear how appreciative we are of having such great support. We had a great crowd. It was electric. The fans were engaged, and the girls really felt the support throughout the game. So that Rotated eight through the lineup tonight, and uh, I thought uh, Jenna Allen and Marley Myers really – sparked this team in the second quarter. They did. You know, we got the, some offensive production from both those girls. Marley with a great offensive rebound, Jenna with shooting the ball. And, you know, that's what that's what we need. We need everybody kind of do their job. At this point in the season, it, it's pretty clear cut on who can do what, and it just matters what night it is and when. And when your number's called, you just be ready. So they were great. Yeah, East Rankin uh, really does a nice job uh, stepping into passing lanes. They anticipate – our passes, they've got some size and, uh, and length down low. That's, uh, that's a problem for, for a lot of teams for us. But I thought our, our bigs, Katie Jones and Marley Myers, uh, uh, really held their own tonight. They did, you know, and we were able to find some mismatches when the, the, their bigs got on some of our smalls and vice versa. And so we tried to exploit those, and I feel like the girls had a good understanding of how and when to do that. And, and one other thing I thought tonight, I thought uh, – I thought our legs were better than theirs as we came down the stretch. Definitely, and that's the depth factor. Yeah. You know, I think they pretty much play six a lot of minutes, and we generally play ten. And, you know, the, we had a couple girls who I, I just feel like it's not that I didn't want to get them in the game. It was like, who do I take out? Because everyone's playing such high energy and um, great effort and execution. So, And they did look fresh. So that, that was why the eight. Well, we're coming to the end of Wendy's halftime. Goes by quickly when you're having fun and That's talking right. about a victory. But thank you for coming and spending a couple of minutes with us. Congratulations to you and the Rebels on uh, finishing with that uh, two seed. And we're poised to make some uh, noise in district tournament and, and beyond. That's right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Coach Amanda Hatch with us on the Wendy's halftime. And we're ready to start half number two. The boys lead East Rankin 42 to 14. Third quarter presented by In Sports in Philadelphia. We're not quite to a running clock situation yet. I believe it's 35 to the point when the uh, clock starts 
running, and I don't think uh, once that happens you can go back. I know it's that way in football, and I think that's the rule in hoops as well. Freeney, Edwards, Prince, Clark, and Jackson take the floor for Leak in white. They'll have the ball. Left side, Edwards looking at a 2-3 zone. Now to Prince, right baseline. Jackson finds Prince cutting. They've tried that about two or three times, and that's the first time it worked. Assist from Jackson on the cut to the basket. Two for Prince. It's 44-14. And East Rankin turns it over on the left sideline. Clark dumps it down in the low post. Right side, Jackson finds Prince cut into the basket left. Fakes the shot, gets a defender in the air and scores it over him for his eighth point. 46-14. That's, I think, one point away from running clock. They're going to get Tate Edwards getting too aggressive, coming over the back of Dively, trying to tip a pass away from him. Coach Morgan holds up three fingers. Steel Prince ahead to Clark, out ahead of everybody else, and he lays it in with the right hand. Four for Trey Clark, 48-14. Into the paint, McDill kicks it out to the top. Nothing there for, for Cordell. But his pass to the wing kicked away by Ben Jackson of Leak. So ERA will play it on the right baseline. 48-14. One from the what I think is the magic number for the running clock. The top of the key. Loper gets knocked to the floor. No foul call. They are able to keep possession of it. He goes right baseline. Tries to bounce it down underneath the basket, but ripped away by Samuel Prince of L.A. Lead pass ahead to Clark on the right wing. He'll fire it back to Freeney into Jackson. Trying to get it. To Prince, Prince mishandles it, but saves it in bounds, but right to Dively for East Rankin. There's a Trey Clark steal, and the pass ahead to Prince. He can't score at right side. Was a little too far into the basket, but saved on the baseline. Dug out by Jake Freeney. There's Prince set up. Got the nice quick assist from Edwards, 50 to 14. So Prince starting to get his. He's in double figures. Loper left side guarded by Clark. Now he loses control of the ball, has to take a step back and retrieve it. Timeout called by Coach Josh Stewart with 5.34 to go. Leak 50, East Rankin 14. Winter in central Mississippi may feel a bit different than other regions. It could feel like winter in the morning and summer by the afternoon. To keep your home comfortable, which may mean adjusting your thermostat by a few degrees, Central Electric recommends setting your thermostat at 68 degrees and changing your HVAC filters once a month. Make sure to seal your doors and windows if air is escaping or coming in. Central Electric, serving you since 1937. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer. What's the three most important words in sports? We got game. And in sports, located in Philadelphia, can take yours to another level. Whether it's custom printing for your home team or our local high schools, you can always count on in sports when it comes to having what you need when you need to look your best. From apparel to accessories, let in sports at 431 Beacon Street in Philadelphia prove to you what it means when they say, We got game. In sports, proud supporter of the Leak Academy Rebels. Boswell Media Sports. He's drinking, puts a shot up. Long two, but foul called on Trey Clark of Leak. His second personal. Team's second the half, though I missed whoever missed that first one. And speaking of misses, Cooper Loper misses the first free throw. He's now 0 for 3 at the line. Braden Ingram comes in to replace Brody Durham for the Patriots. Leak leading 50 to 14, and now we're in the running clock situation in the third. Free throw straight through for Cooper Loper. He has 10. It's 50 to 15. Right wing Clark to Jackson on the baseline. Now to Edwards. He'll rear up, fire for three, miss, but they're offside rebound and stick back for Ben Jackson. 
Hard to believe that's Ben's first point. He's been so active on the boards. He just hasn't been able to get an offensive rebound put back to go in. 52-15. Ball kicked loose. Steele Edwards ahead to Prince for the layup from the right side. Samuel's got eight in this quarter, and it's 54-15. Leak boat racing East Rankin for the second time this year. Got district tournament starting next week. There's Loper underneath getting fouled by Ben Jackson from behind point blank range. Loper will get back to the line where he's one out of four in tonight's game. He has 10 of his team's 15 points. So we are in running clock territory now. Good on the first free throw. Warner Young, Lucas Thomas, Matthew Nowell, Jack Harkins, Gage Warren come in for the starting five. We're under three minutes, 20 seconds. 54-16, here's Loper's second free throw. It's good, it's 54-17. Nowell comes quickly into the front court as he usually does. Here's left side to Warren. Sends it back. Look at that 2-3 zone matching up pretty high. Away from the basket, right elbow Thomas out to Harkins for a three that slides right in. Junction three for Jack, his first of the night. He's got five points. It's 40-point lead now for Leak. He's ranking in trouble, but Matthew Nowell dribbles it. Thought he had the steal, but dribbled it on the sideline. We're here at 8 o'clock here on Friday evening. 57-17, Leak in front. Here's a long two right side that goes down for East Rankin's Braden Ingram. Gage Warren can't answer with a left side runner. Offside rebound, Dalton McDill for East Rankin. Tick down toward two minutes, 10 seconds in the in sports third quarter. Cornell gonna try a Three from way outside misses, but offensive rebound dug out by Ingram. The Patriots will keep it. Extra possession for them. Top of the key, double team comes to Cordell. He'll send it out to McDill, who's three way out on the left side is good. Eight from McDill. Harkins answer from the right side, a little bit short. Rebound, Braden Ingram. 90 seconds to play in the quarter. Leak leading 57-22. McDill dishes left side to Cordell, guarded by Nowell. He'll go in, try to put it up over Thomas. Shot badly missed. Rebound, Thomas, but he throws it away. Loper goes up. He and Thomas collide in midair, and Loper will go back to the free throw line as senior Lucas Thomas picks up his first foul of the evening. Looper missed his first three free throws, last three, so he's three for six tonight. He's got a little streak going four in a row. Jackson checking in for Thomas. Parker Cruz Bankston enters the game for East Rankin. He replaces Dively. Loper with a second of a pair of free throws. Left short, rebound Nowell. L.A. across the timeline with 24 seconds to play in the quarter. Right side, Harkins on baseline. Nice give and go between Harkins and Jackson. Assist for Jackson, two for Harkins, 59-23. Under 10 seconds. Patriots. Working baseline, Loper, the, and the shot from the top missed, 59-23. We just got eight minutes left to play. We'll return in 60 seconds as Leak Academy Boys Basketball continues from Boswell Media Sports. Thank you. Morse Pharmacy is my go-to pharmacy. I can pick up all my meds, shop for any occasion, get my gifts wrapped, and feel like part of the family while I'm there. There's nothing like shopping at home. Supporting the very people I work with, go to church with, and am friends with. Moore's Pharmacy is a true asset to our community. Shortest wait, 
quickest service and great prices? Moore's Pharmacy, Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. Dr. Ryan Anderson and his crew at Central Mississippi Animal Clinic love getting to know you and your pets. In addition to your pet's health care, they offer boarding that will be your fur baby's home away from home. Become a member of the Central Mississippi Animal Clinic family today. Download the Central Mississippi Animal Clinic app or go to centralmississippianimalclinic.com. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic, Highway 35, Carthage. Boswell Media Sports. Final eight minutes of the regular season. Final eight minutes of basketball for this season in the Joe F. Shepard Gym as Leak brings in Nolan McCall and Davis Savell into the game. Warner Young, Gage Warren, Ben Jackson staying in, shot blocked. Now knocked loose going into the corner. Loose ball last touched by East Rankin. Fourth quarter presented by Central Mississippi Animal Clinic. Leak leads 59-23 over District 2 opponent East Rankin. McCall gives it to Savell right corner. Back to McCall. He'll pull the trigger for three, leave it a little long. McDill can't control the rebound. Jackson took it away from him, goes back up to the rack and gets fouled. Got fouled pretty hard, too. Foul on Aiden Carlisle. First foul on him. Ben Jackson, the senior at the line. Rebel seniors, Ben Jackson, Lucas Thomas, Jake Freeney. First free throw, a little flat and no good. Second free throw, got a little more arc on it. Nice rotation and scores it. Ben has three. It's a 60 to 23 game. A lot of folks have cleared out. A lot of folks uh, conversing, talking, keeping one eye on the game. Ben Jackson with a block of a McDill shot from the left side. East Rankin will keep it. Gage Warren trying to get in on the block party, but he commits the foul on Loper, eight feet away from the basket. Gage's first, Cooper Loper is four out of eight, now five out of nine at the stripe. 60-24, Cole Thompson comes into the game, replacing Dalton McDill for ERA. They've also brought Truett Lewis in. Free throws good. 60-25, 35 point game, and Loper will come out. He's replaced by Nick Wesson, a senior. McDill, free throw line, Jackson. Warner Young, nice kick out from a call three that rattles in and comes out, and then Jackson gets fouled trying to secure the rebound, and he'll head to the free throw line, I think. Foul on Bankston, his first. No Rebels along the lane line. Ben Jackson was there just a minute ago, made the second of two. That one left very short. Just thwacked the front of the rim. And puts that one up higher, better rotation, gets it in just like last time. Went flat on the first one. Had beautiful form on the second. Rebel 61, East Rankin 25, 4, 23, running clock, fourth quarter. Bankston to Carlisle, left side. Thompson, nothing there for him. Then there's a runner from Wesson, missed from 10 feet away. Rebound, Gage Warren. He's going to try to take it coast to coast. Goes up too strong off the rim, and then Jackson will come over the back of Wesson. But I don't think they're going to call a – yeah, they will call the foul. Well, maybe it was just going to be an out-of-bounds situation. But foul goes on Ben Jackson, his second. Past the midway point of the Central Mississippi Animal Clinic fourth quarter. East Rankin in the half court, working behind the three-point line. Parker Cruz Bankston down to Wesson, guarded by Young. 
Now left side. Thompson with a shot that gets bothered, but a lot of contact there. I think he got hacked on the arm by Nolan McCall. McCall's first, team's third. It was a shooting foul, so it's Thompson at the line. Rebels bring in John David Gill and Carter Seal. Replace Morin and Jackson with three minutes to go. Put back off the miss. Good by Truett Lewis. He gets in the scoring column, 61-27. Oh, McCall mishandles a high pass from John David Gill, and here's Thompson with a steal. He double dribbled, no call. Send it out to Bankston. He'll fire for three off the heel. Rebound tipped around, and Bankston able to corral it at the top. He's looking for somewhere to go with it, guarded by Gill. Into the lane, Lewis going up on Seal will score it. And he'll get to the free throw line, shoot the free throw. Carter Seal commits the foul. 61-29, the time Lewis finishes the free throw will be under two minutes. Taken down toward the Ozark Ag post game, and Lewis makes it. Gives that ball a trip all the way around the rim, 61-30. Gill handling the basketball to McCall. In the middle of the zone to Young, bounces down to Seal. Double team comes to him. And his pass out to the wing, tipped away. But it went off the leg of Nolan McCall and out of bounds. So Patriot basketball with 95 seconds to go. We'll be in Mendenhall next week for the tournament. Look uh, later tonight for schedules and times, or it may be as late as tomorrow morning, but it soon we'll be letting you know as Patriots turn it over. Minute 13 to go. Leak basketball leading 61-30. Leak's going to finish district play 8-2. and two. The only team that beat them was Simpson. Warner Young, runner from 12 feet out, a little bit too long. Rebound offside, Parker Cruz, Bankston. 53 seconds, Carlisle going to Thompson. Thompson mishandles it and a steal from McCall for Leak. Now Gill trying to weave across the midcourt on the dribble. His pass to the right side taken away by Carlisle, but he stepped out of bounds at midcourt. Davis Savell will put it into play at midcourt. Under 30 seconds to go. We'll try to keep our Ozark Ag post game can. Gill dribbles it off his foot. Steal Carlisle. Pass ahead to Wesson. His layup partially blocked by Young. Wesson keeps it. Tries to go back up to the rim. No good. Good defense there by Gill. And he gets the rebound under 10 seconds. The Rebels will just dribble it out and get a 61-30 victory here at home. We'll be back with the Ozark Ag postgame final score. Rebels 61, East Rankin 30. Dr. Brooke Bobo and his staff at Carthage Veterinary Clinic wish you and your animals the very best. They treat all animals, large or small, with the care you would want for a member of your family. Carthage Veterinary Clinic provide for your sick or injured animals and also offer grooming and boarding as well. Located on Highway 16, Carthage Veterinary Clinic is open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 until 5.30 and Wednesday and Saturday from 7.30 till noon. Choo! Achoo! Bless you, Mama. Thank you. Mama, you know that yummy Medicine Moore's Pharmacy made for me? I bet they can make you some, too. Well, let me just give them a call. Morse Pharmacy is your specialty pharmacy for compounding and compliance packaging. This makes it easier if you take several prescriptions. And be sure to download their RX local app. This will make your wait time even shorter, if you can believe that. Morse Pharmacy, your only local independent pharmacy in Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. Roll into Junction Deli, where nourishment meets journey. On the menu, delectable.
This lunch and supper. Whether you're in Philadelphia, Newton, Union, Carthage, Louisville, Oxford, or Scuba, we're the local pit stop that blends the allure of delicious food with the convenience of a fuel stop. Remember, when your stomach grumbles or your tank covers on empty, we're just around the corner. Download the Junction app for ordering convenience and look for the new car wash in Louisville next to Walmart. Like athletes on the road to victory, you can count on TNK Farms Trucking and Land Services to lead the way, and custom work is their specialty. From sites and driveways, land clearing, forestry mowing, pond and road building, TNK Farms Trucking and Land Services can pave the way to your next project. Looking for gravel, stone fill, dirt, or sand? TNK Farms Trucking and Land Services has you covered. TNK Farm and Trucking. Follow them on Facebook or stop by in person just off Highway 25 at 1128 Liberty Road in Louisville. Credit card payments accepted. Baptist League. Rural health clinics have a variety of health care options with primary care, pediatrics, and women's health. Providing care at three locations in Carthage, Walnut Grove, and Madden. Call 601-267-1470 today to schedule your appointment. Extended hours and Saturdays are available at our primary care clinic located in Carthage. Baptist League, making your health care our number one priority. At Wendy's, you don't need a psychic to tell you your hamburger's gonna taste great. Excuse me? Because every square hamburger is a sign you're getting the best. Did someone say sign? Four corners of hot and juicy fresh beef that make deliciousness its destiny every time. Hold on. I'm getting fresh beef. When you want the best hamburger, square's the beef. Choose wisely. Choose, Choose Wendy's Dave Single. I am a psychic, after all. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S., Alaska, and Canada. Boswell Media Sports. Here's the Ozark Ag postgame. Final time will do it from the Joe F. Shepard Gym in this 2023-2024 season. As a successful night, varsity games. Girls win 46-41, and boys with a blowout win 61-30. Coach Jason Morgan's squad now 23-8, finish 8-2 in district play over winless East Rankin. And uh, not a lot to tell the story, story of that game. 28-4 at the end of the first quarter, 42-14. 17 points by East Rankin's Cooper Loper. He's their leading scorer. Dalton McDill scored eight, and Truett Lewis fine. That's all the points they had. Leak had a lot of players in the game and a lot of players getting the scoring column. Samuel Prince ends up being the leading scorer with a dozen right behind him. Freshman Gage Warren, who had 11 points in the first half off two junction threes, two made shots, and a made three throw for a three-point play. Samuel got all his from two-point range. In fact, all his shots, I think, were inside about eight feet for his dozen points. Seven scored by Matthew Nowell off the bench. A pair of twos and a junction three in the first half. Jack Harkins did the same. A pair of twos and a junction three for seven. Tate Edwards had five all first quarter points. A made two and a made junction three. Jake Freeney, the senior, had eight, two junction three. Trey Clark sent in two baskets for four points. Ben Jackson had four off a made basket and two for four free throw shooting. Lucas Thomas made one out of two free throws for one point in the ball game. So, and then uh, two for Warner Young in the first quarter. Trey, uh, excuse me, Carter Seal, John David Gill, Davis Savell, Nolan McCall all played in the game but didn't score for Lee. Prince with a dozen, Morin poured in 11. Freeney with eight, seven apiece for Nowell and Harkins. Five for Edwards, four for Jackson, four for Clark, and one for Thomas in Leak's 61-30 victory. Well, that sets us up. Leak will be the two seed in both the girls and the boys brackets next week down at Simpson Academy. Check uh, Leak Academy social media. Or check uh, Kicks 96 News tomorrow, and you'll see the matchups and the times and wherever they're playing, whenever they're playing. We're your home for Leak Academy postseason basketballs. We start the road to the gold next week. So until uh, we're together again, we appreciate you being with us tonight. Thanks, John Alden Crosby. Thanks, Billy Steen in the studio. Thanks, Breck Riley, our award-winning producer-director. Thanks, everybody at Basel Media Sports. Thanks to our sponsors and thanks to you. We're about to take it up a notch starting next week with a tournament in, if I remember it correctly. In fact, I'm not going to remember it. I'm just going to look it up here on my phone. I had it dialed up earlier. Here it is for you. District 2 tournament next week, as we mentioned, in Mendenhall. 
Uh, those games will start on Tuesday, I think, either Tuesday or Wednesday, but uh, the Rebels may not have to play until Thursday if I understand the scheduling right, but don't take my word for it. We'll get that official word out shortly. The following week, North 5A Tournament at Cleveland, hosted by Bio Academy. Then the following week, 13th through 17th, hosted by Kapai Academy down at Gallman. We'll be there all the way, and, of course, overall is the following week, last week of February at Mississippi College. So we hope we're bringing you basketball for a real long time. Thanks for being along with us on the regular season ride, and we'll join you next week for postseason action. Until then, I'm Philip Palmertry signing off from the 488. Until we're together again for postseason basketball, the District 2 tournament, good night, grace and peace. Go Rebels.